Tuesday. Here, we gotta go fast now. Come on, let's go, you guys. From Newport Ritchie to Sefer Hills and all around Tampa Bay. Plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. It's time for the best sports conversation on your ride home. Welcome to the Ronnie and T-Crash Show. Afternoon Drive. On 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Hey, let's get this thing rolling here. It is our final studio edition of the Ronnie and T-Crash Show. I can't believe that, man. The final Why studio. Why is that cowboy hat? I, just, <laughs> come on. Just the way it is. Time flies, dude, when you're having fun. And we are executive producer Chris Mathis is here with us in the studio. The beautiful Root Air Conditioning Studios at Feather Sound in Clearwater. We really do appreciate you listening, however you may be listening today, whether that's on air, online, or via the free iHeartRadio app. We are streaming video. I'm waving at you right now on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Remember to like and subscribe. The phone number to reach me and Tom today, and I'm sure we're going to get some great calls. 888-546-4620. The Bartow Ford DAE text platform already running at 82945. Begin that text with DAE so that we see and message and data rates may apply. And we do have guests on the show as usual, and they appear courtesy of the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. Thomas, happy Tuesday afternoon to you. I guess I'm already confused because I looked at you and go, hey, man, they played the wrong thing there. They said it's Tuesday. You go, it is Tuesday. Right, it's like, uh, why are they playing the wrong day? It's Tuesday. I go, today is Tuesday, Ronnie. I know uh, it's... Yeah. When you move, it, man, it just gets you all out of oh, whack. Oh, yeah. Well, you're, you did a move, which everyone hates to do. Oh. I totally understand that. And it's a unique week because, it obviously... Is. Big things are happening. This is our final show in studio for Ronnie and T. Kraz on this fill-in-the-blank Tuesday, and that's coming up a little bit later on. We're going to talk <laughs> to Bob Nightingale, USA Today. We're going to talk Rays baseball. We're going to talk Shoei Otani and betting. That um, is, um, yes, and gambling. What a mess that is. It really is. And, you know, he, he had his little statement there yesterday, and we were on the air, and I was translating it for everybody. So I told Matt this. I'm like, wait a second. I thought he fired his interpreter. Who was the guy yesterday? Was was that guy stealing from Otani, too? Or I don't know. It was a different uh, no, interpreter. No, no, no. Well, <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. I wonder what his interpreter now is thinking. Like, hey, I wonder if he'll try to blackmail me well, if that's what's happening. I guess the prerequisite is uh, you've got his, you know, accounting <laughs> information. And Who uh, does that, though? I don't know. Who would give, I, we'll I'll get into that later. I'll tell you who does it, Ronnie. It's a guy who's looking for, you know, a go-between or a conduit to, you know, put some action down but we're going to talk to bob nightingale we're going to get into the whole baseball thing with opening day 48 hours away we can hardly wait we will be there on thursday when the rays and the blue jays open things up to raise the curtain on the 2024 season we'll also talk some usf i have the inside scoop on a usf coach who might be on the verge of leaving and it's not who you think it is and that's coming up a little bit later on in this hour okay how about that? A scoop, man. It is a scoop. On the final studio edition of the Ronnie and T Crash Show. See what what I mean, I all can, kinds of things happen when you listen to I, us. I got a scoop. Um Todd Bowles, he talked today. How about that? You know, the NFL draft is like a month away and uh Todd Bowles met with the media over at the NFL owners meetings. There were some rules changes that we're gonna get into. There's a new kickoff rule that's a little complicated, but you know, the XF Yes. Something that we saw in the XFL that the NFL is going to employ, which I think is kind of fascinating, but we're going to get into that too. But, you know, Todd Bowles was meeting with the media and, you know, we know about the Bucks winning the division last year and the playoff game and everything else. And he knows, though, and he discusses today on what areas that he would like to see his team approve upon from 2023 to 2024, here's the head coach Todd Bowles on what they need to do better. They're all areas. I think we can get better with situational football, obviously. Offense running the ball better, more efficient. Ah. Defense got to be a lot better in two minute and third and long. Uh, offense, we turn the ball over in some key situations. There, there's a ton of areas we can get better at that we'll continue to try to get better at and add to get better at. Is that a problem? Well, it was a problem. Uh, I'll tell you what was a problem, Ronnie. When you're 32nd in the NFL running the football two yeah, years in a row. One, right? Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, not it was, good. was rough, Dave Canals, and you're not around anymore for that. 
But that is a problem, and that's something that the Buccaneers have to address. And the way to do that is I think they've got the right running back in place. Rashad White got off to a slow start, and as Todd Bowles told the media today, it was a slow start because he was trying to acclimate himself to a new offense. He didn't know the cutback lanes would develop. Uh, he was dancing a little too much instead of giving what the defense gave him. But as the season went on, he had a better understanding as to where those cutback lanes were, and he hit the hole hard. And, look, the coaches implored him to do so, and then all of a sudden he turned into one of the game's best young all-around backs. He had over 1,500 yards from scrimmage, and I think there's going to be even more improvement from Rashad White going into 2024. And Todd Bowles agrees. Here's the head coach talking about his RB1, Rashad White. I thought Rashad matured because he, he really got a hold of the offense and understood what we were expecting of him in that aspect. Oof. He started playing faster because he was playing smarter. He knew where the cutback lanes were going to be before they opened up. Early in the season, he was waiting to see, and it was slowing him down, and he probably missed a few holes. In the passing game, he's always been an asset. We probably hadn't used him as much. Yeah, and that's the thing we're looking forward to, to see if Liam Cohen can develop some plays for Rashad to get him into the open field and let him do his thing. That's what they've got to do a better job of. But you're, the running game has to improve. I mean, how can you be last two years in a row? They're just bad at it, Ronnie. And the way to improve it is you got to improve your blocking. We think they've got the right running back. And now you look at the offensive line. You've got a, an ascending superstar left tackle in Tristan Wirfs. Lou Gittiki was one of the most improved players on the team. He, along with Zion McCollum at right tackle, Cody Mauk started slow, finished strong. He's good at right guard. And then you got the center and left guard positions where the Buccaneers signed a couple of guys. They signed the guy from the Eagles. They signed Brendanson, the guy from the Giants who can play all over the line. They still have Robert Hainsey at center. But I feel like come draft time, this is the area where the Buccaneers will use their draft picks especially the high ones. They've got a first-round pick, a second-rounder. They have two-thirds. It would not surprise me to say maybe two of those first four picks devoted to the offensive line. That's what I would do if I were the Buccaneers. I think two of those first four picks, draft some linemen, get a guard, get a center, get some guys who've got a high upside who can come in here, who can move some people off the ball, and that certainly was a problem especially when you're running an outside zone running scheme, which is what the Buccaneers incorporate. So I think offensive line, Ronnie, is going to be a priority. Everyone wants to see an edge rusher, and I think they will, you know, dive into it and pick at least one edge rusher in the first four picks. But I think offensive line is going to be the priority come draft time, and I think that's the smart move. Well, I think in the trenches, anytime you can get better on either side of the ball in the trenches, I think they're going to take a, a shot at that if the right player is available when it comes turn for them, when it comes their time to pick. So it just depends on how this draft is working out. I'm hearing all kinds of different things. The most common thing I'm hearing about the top of the draft is Oof. there could be four straight quarterbacks taken. I mean, that could possibly happen in this draft. And all of that that happens that transpires before the Buccaneers get their pick. And, of course, they've got game plan number one, two, and three all ready to go probably four all ready to go because there's so many different scenarios when you're picking 26 a lot of craziness and chaos can occur right in front of you and you never know who might slip down to you because the quarterbacks will be an emphasis wide receivers will be an emphasis i think the bucks are good there i think they may pick a receiver on day two of the draft well they'll have two third round picks maybe one of them becomes a receiver and there's certainly some great receiver receiving talent and great depth when it comes to that position. So you can wait on a guy even into the third round or to the fourth round. So you want to see as many quarterbacks and receivers go in the first 25 picks. So an interior lineman, maybe a Jackson Powers Johnson or, you know, the kid Graham Barton out of Duke. One of those guys maybe slips down to you a pick number 26. It's certainly possible. And we've seen Jason Light do this before where he can stay put, or he can move up. He's done that a couple of times. He moved up one spot in order to secure Tristan Warps. It turned out to be a fabulous move back in 2020. And then we've seen him move back, too. And he did so in the 2017-2018 draft where they moved down. They got Vita Vea, 
Buffalo moved up into the Bucks spot and they took Josh Allen. It worked out for them. It worked out for the Bucks because Vita Vea is certainly an indispensable part of their defensive front. So we've seen Jason Lye do it all three ways. Move up, stay put, move back. I think all of that is on the table, too. Uh, say that again. So yeah. these owners' meetings are taking place in Orlando, and Todd Bowles was quite talkative, I thought, today, listening to you know some of his comments, Tom, that we went through in the production meeting. I, you just don't usually hear him open up as much as he did today. But it's good. That also means he's getting very comfortable with what's going on around him with his football team. The unfortunate thing is another offensive coordinator. I mean, he was just talking about how Rashad White had some difficulty adjusting to what Dave Canales is, was going to do. And I know even though Liam Cohen's offense is similar to what Dave Canales was running, it's still a different guy calling the shots. And I just wonder how long it's going to take him to get going offensively. Maybe not as, you know, I, I don't think it'll be as much of a delay as it was last season. Of course, they got out to a fast start last season, and then they hit the doldrums. They kept doing these little things wrong in the middle of the season when they lost six out of seven games, but they corrected that at the end. And I just hope they don't have to completely start all over on offense. Well, the hope is, is they won't have to do that because the offense is similar, the verbiage might be different. But again, to your point, it is a new guy in charge, and it is a new guy calling plays, and he may have a different style. Look, uh, you know, to be a good play caller in this league, it's about rhythm, and it's about timing, and it's about certainly finding your niche. And Liam Cohen is going to have to do that, and the way to do that is you establish it in the OTAs and then the mini camp, and then... You get to training camp, and then hopefully the installs will be in, and then this team could be up and running. So from everything we've heard from the people that we've talked to, it is very similar to the Dave Canales system. Just the verbiage is a little different, and if that's the case, I don't think there's going to be too much of a transition. So they'll hope to carry over at least some continuity from the prior offense. But, you know, a lot of interesting things happening at the owners' meetings, and you guys can opine too at 888-546-4620. On the Barto Ford DA text platform at 82945, where standard message and data rates do apply. We've got baseball talk coming up in a little bit. Fill in the blank a little bit later on. Plus, by the way, coming up on the show, not one, but two giveaways. We gave away a pair of Def Leppard tickets yesterday. They're coming to Camping World Stadium on July the 10th. We've got another pair of Def Leppard tickets today. Right. And not only that, Thomas, we have a four pack of tickets for the Rays on Friday after opening um, day against the Jays. How about that? A four-pack. None yet. Oh, no, it is a four-pack. And uh, <laughs> yeah. a chance for you to go to the game on Friday against those Blue Jays. Don't forget, the game on Thursday is a sellout. So we're going to be there broadcasting live starting at 6 a.m. So it's going to be a beautiful thing. You're oh, going to be there at 6 a.m. broadcasting? No. Oh, okay. uh, we've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't miss that. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, It wasn't. you know. Was that a playoff game or a regular season game where we saw Raymond pull up in a van and get out and knock on the freaking door to get oh, in? Oh, yes, I remember. Remember that? Yeah, you know, we weren't the only ones locked out that day. <laughs> it was me and Ronnie and Raymond trying to bang on the door and get in. I think in, uh, you know, gate seven or whatever it is yeah. out in the outfield area. We were in the Neo Mobile at the time, you know? Oh, my gosh. That was fun. It was, man. So, so many great memories. <laughs> great memory. We'll go through a lot of that tomorrow on the uh, final edition of the Ronnie and T-Crash show. But uh, today's our final studio edition, so we're going to have a lot of fun with you as well. But those Rays tickets, and Chris has got a, a great way to give them away. He does. That's going to happen in the 6 o'clock hour tonight. We want to give you plenty of time to get ready for that, but it's going to happen between 6 and 7 tonight. A four-pack of tickets to the Rays and the Jays on Friday. I think that I think that game I, it may, it may not sell out, but that's going to be a good crowd on a Friday night opening oh, yeah. weekend. Yeah. Fr Friday night, you know, heading into the Easter weekend, so that's going to be a spectacle in itself. So you're going to have a sellout crowd. On Friday, I think you'll have a good crowd Saturday. Oh, nice. 
Friday and Saturday. <laughs> yes, Tyler. You, you don't care. You you play for the Dodgers now, where you know your yeah. best player. You know, yeah, I you bet got you, some issues. I bet you fifty bucks to get you gambling for the end of the day. <laughs> no, 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 what? No, no, no. Come on, Something man. You know, Glass. Now in that drop, he was kind of being sarcastic anyway. He was. Oh, he, was nice. he was making fun of me because yeah. you said something about your fiftieth birthday or something. Yeah, right? like he had just turned thirty, and we were talking to him. I'm like, oh, thirty. That's a nice round number. Well, I just turned fifty, and he oh, was like, yeah, that's oh, what nice. <laughs> Oh, nice. He goes, you old. He, he said, you old battle axe. <laughs> yeah. Come on, That's man. basically what he wanted to say. Oh. But I wish him the very best of luck. Listen, the guy's clocking over $100 million, and, you know, he for is him. for the heavy, you know, that's the World Series favorite, provided that Otani doesn't get suspended for gambling. We'll see. All right, but back to Todd Bowles and the Buccaneers, man. We Ooh. got a lot going on with the Bucks, and obviously... <laughs> Yes, Todd. Obviously, this upcoming draft is very, very important. But, Tom, Jason Light has done a very nice job as of late drafting for the Bucks. Now, remember, his first... One of those cigars. You, well, <laughs> you keep uh, playing your cards the way you're playing them. I'm sure Tom will get a couple of cigars to you. Maybe. But if they could have, another, not. If they could have another outstanding draft this year and really help the team in areas of need, it, it's going to help them in this division because... Even though they're playing a first place schedule and they've done that for the last couple of years, but they finished nine and eight. Nine and eight with Tom Brady, nine and eight with Baker Mayfield in his first year. I'm sure they'd love to improve upon that, but that's gonna be tough. Here's where the Bucks have the advantage, Ronnie. And if you can safely say that if we had to play tomorrow and line up tomorrow, could we do that? And the answer is yes for the Bucks. So yes, they could use an edge rusher. That is the one spot on your team where you're looking for some help getting after the quarterback. So Todd Bowles is not going to be overly, overly reliant on the blitz. And they've got an emerging pass rusher in Yaya Diaby. And they've got a guy, Kalaja Kansi, who's a disruptor. I think they have two building blocks in their front seven that a lot of teams are envious of. Those are two guys that I think the Buccaneers can build around. you still got Big B to Vea. Logan Hall certainly came on a little bit. They've got a stout defensive front. They need another edge rusher. But right now, can we line up tomorrow and play a game? The answer is yes. The Buccaneers can line up tomorrow and play a game. And that's where you want to be before the draft because then you're going into the draft thinking, okay, we don't have to reach on a need player. We can let the draft fall to us. And then when it's our turn to pick, you know, if a great player is still sitting there, We'll take that player, best player available. And if it happens to be in a position of need, that's even doubly nice. So I think the Buccaneers right now are in a great spot because they don't have to reach for an edge rusher. I think they're going to add one. And look, I think between now and the draft, we got a month to go. I bet you anything, okay? Not like the other guy we saw last week. I'll <laughs> bet you because this one will come to fruition, not, you know, the yeah. other guy. But I bet you anything, between now and the draft, the Buccaneers will sign a veteran pass rusher to a one-year prove-it deal. Because I looked at the guys that are still out there and available, and there are plenty of guys out there and available. And, you know, Yannick Ngakwe or Bud Dupree, I don't think Jadavion Clowney is going to be in the cards. I would love to have him personally, but, you know, the Jets and some other teams are looking at him. So I think that's going to drive the price up. But between now and the draft, I think the Buccaneers will sign a veteran pass rusher to a one-year prove-it deal. So that could be a signal to other teams. Well, the Bucs just signed this guy. Maybe they won't Maybe they won't be in the market for a pass rusher in round one, which is not going to be the case because I think Jason Light's going to hold everything very, cro very close to the chest, and he's going to take you know, the best player available come 26. But I bet you anything they sign a pass rusher. Yannick Ngakwe, I think he'd look good in pewter and red and whatever the other colors are, white. Well, he, you know, he's bounced around the league a little bit, but at least he's a veteran guy that you can bring in here and maybe it would lessen the need or would even add to that room that includes Yaya Diaby that's going to be a starter. It's going to push, you know, JTS, Joe Tryon, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, you got Anthony Nelson there too, so... I, I think for depth purposes, I can absolutely see that happening. Well, at, at any rate, we know this team is going to be improved because the Bucks, just like the Rays, have pretty good talent evaluators as of late. And that's how you stay competitive, and that's how you stay on your game. And that's why the Bucks have made it to the playoffs 
for four consecutive years in the NFC. It's hard to believe no other NFC team has done that four straight years since the Bucks started their little run. Well, I mean, look, the, the NFC is down. And certainly that's the other thing that, you know, helps the Buccaneers is the fact that you're playing in the weaker conference. If they were in the AFC, yeah, the deck would be stacked against them. I think the AFC is far superior to the NFC. But now they've got a team in Atlanta in their division who, by the way, a lot of people are high on, including our friends over at betonline.ag. And we got into this yesterday toward the end of the show. You weren't here, Ronnie. But oh, I heard. I heard you guys talking about the uh, over and under for the Bucks. I was a little surprised, too. Eh, I think eight and a half is right about, about right. right. Yeah. Considering, you know, the first place schedule and everything else in between. So um, I, I just think that, you know, the Falcons being a ten and a half, I mean, that's a fat number. That is. It's a big number. And considering they have not yeah, yeah. yeah, well, we, we did say that. They haven't won a division in a while, right? Because the Bucks have won it three years in a row. Uh, ten and a half is Atlanta's over-under. Holy crap, man. Where it's a That's big, too high, man. It's it a is big number. too high. That's I, too high. I, I think it should be in the eight and a half range. Now, they won seven games last year. I think eight and a half is probably about right, but ten and a half is certainly a very big number for them. Where do they have the Saints? I didn't look to see. About eight and a half, seven. Uh, New Orleans, they have at seven and a half. Seven and a half. So last year, their over under was nine and a half, and they went nine and eight. So they finished under. They're at seven and a half, and Carolina's at four and a half. And the Bucks, of course, are at eight and a half. And the Bucks last year were what at five and a half, six and a half, and they won nine. Six and a half, and they yep. won nine. So it's it's interesting. Um, I love looking at these over unders and. I think we're going to uh, place a couple of bets. I think coming up on Thursday show, Chris Mathis. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. What was that? What? <laughs> Sorry. <It's> great <laughs> great, great uh, to see you paying attention. Yeah, no. I, uh, 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 the uh, the over unders for the NFL win totals on Letter Right Thursday. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, that's pretty much a given at this point. G -g 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 it's opening day for baseball. You guys got a lot of Letter Right stuff, man. On uh, Thursday. Oh, I can't wait. We're degenerates in here. All right, great to have you with us. The final in studio show for Ronnie and T. Kraz. You can join us too at eight 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 five four six four six twenty. And on the Bartow 4DA text platform at 82945, Bucks draft needs, should they go best player available? Should they reach for an interior lineman? What about a pass rusher? Your calls and texts are on the way. Two days and counting before opening day hits. Are the Rays Toronto ready? And the latest on the Shohei Otani gambling scandal, too. That is next. Live from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Don't miss out on the ultimate, ultimate celebration. Out. Tomorrow marks the grand finale of the legendary Ronnie and t Crash show on WDAE. Join us as we bid farewell to this dynamic duo in style. It's, it's the, the last, last hurrah, the final word, and literally the end, end of an era. era. Tune in starting at 3 p.m. to catch all the excitement on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Let's send Ronnie and t Crash off with a bang as we salute their incredible run since, since 2014 on Tampa Bay's favorite sports radio station, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. WDAE. Traffic update. Wrecking Seminole on eastbound 102nd Avenue near 113th Street, also one in St. Pete on westbound 1st Avenue North near 34th Street and on Central Avenue and 58th Street. Seeing delays in Tampa, northbound 275, approaching downtown, southbound 275, approaching I-4 and from Dale Mabry out towards the Howard Franklin Bridge. See traffic problems? Call the tip line 866-545-9595. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell's new Cravings Value Menu is a big deal. Or rather, it's 10 big deals. From new items like the loaded nachos to familiar favorites like the spicy potato soft taco. Check it out at a participating Taco Bell today. Available for a limited time only while supplies last. Guys, the weather outside is getting warmer. You want to be able to get out this spring and do the things that you want to do, but maybe your back or your knee or your shoulder is bothering you. That's when you have to pick up the phone and call my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about last 
lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, no downtime. Dr. Circumin and his team of professionals, they did a great job on my elbow a couple of years ago, and then they did my right knee a few months ago. I feel great, as will you guys. You need to get your life back, courtesy of my guys over at QC Kinetics. Pro athletes have been doing regenerative medicine for decades. It's a life-changing treatment that is now available to you. So you can get out there, walk, run, hit the beach, play some golf. QC Kinetics can help you do it with no pain pills, no risky surgery, all natural solution. Get your free consultation right now, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations including Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon. 813-305-3000. Tell them t Crest sent you. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine, and our team is a triple threat to big insurance companies. Don't settle with the insurance companies for a fraction of what your case is worth. We'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. That's the Anajar and Levine difference. Get your free case review right now. We'll help you take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. WDAE with What's Up Tampa Bay. Bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks. Bowling for balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. For tickets and more info, visit 98rock.com. Join us April 5th through 7th at Armature Works in the Heights District for the WFLA News Channel 8 Outdoors Expo and Boat Show. Admission is free all weekend. Visit WFLA.com slash Outdoors Expo for more details. Stay on top of everything going on at 953WDAE.com. The good folks at Wendy's have a revolutionary new product for you. Introducing the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. It's like a time machine that takes you all the way back to now, the year 2024. It's the classic creamy, orangey flavor you remember. Dare I say, it's new timey. It's the flavor you grew up with, just all grown up. Head over to your local Wendy's establishment and get yours while supplies last. The new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Here for the now, for now. Limited time only at participating Wendy's. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson Hue, yeah. People are saying Jackson Hue, yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hue, yeah. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. I'm going out with the girls this weekend. Nails, done. Outfit, stunner. And my skin? I know it's going to be glowing because I glammed up my shower routine with new Olay Indulgent Moisture Body Wash. It smells so luxurious and moisturizes deep into my skin with its super rich, creamy lather that's bursting with vitamin B3. So my skin glows and my confidence grows. Try new Olay Indulgent Moisture Body Wash for glowing skin in just 14 days. Let the professionals at Fence Outlet save you time and money. We handle everything from the free estimate to the install. We do it all, and you get 0% financing. So come into Fence Outlet or visit FenceOutlet.com today. License number C-10252 and C-10803. When something happens to your car, you might say, Well, that's just great. Oh, perfect. Awesome. How nice for me. But what you really need to say is, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there to help you file your claim. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953wdae.com slash rules.
Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cam Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Mostly sunny, breezy, and warm this afternoon, high 85 degrees. Cloudy, breezy, and mild this evening, low 70. Tomorrow's cloudy early, then we'll see rain, wind, and maybe some strong storms, high 83. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then... Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free Free. never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports. Sports Radio, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Home of the best box coverage. So I never bet on baseball or any other sports or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. Uh, and I have never uh, went through a bookmaker uh, to bet on sports. Sure. That's what they all say. That was Shohei Otani's interpreter, not the guy who stole four and a half million dollars from him. <laughs> I hope not. That's the guy from yesterday who was obviously translating what Otani was saying. Now he delivered this message or statement yesterday. Did not take any questions. We were on the air as it happened. It was around five forty-five yesterday, and we talked about it during the last hour of the show. But still, many questions that left to be answer that weren't answered yesterday as we welcome you back. Ronnie and T-Kraz on your radio, our final show in studio. Of course, tomorrow we're going to be live at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Join us for our final show at the L Bar inside the Hard Rock. We're going to have a great time. They're apparently supposed to be like some surprise guests or surprises for us. I have no idea what's happening. I think some clowns are going to show up and hit us in the face with pies, man. Uh, well, I heard that's going down. I, I think that they're going to show up for you. But uh, <laughs> apparently there are some surprises in order that Chris Mathis is privy to. I tried to interrogate him on the air yesterday, and he wouldn't crack. Absolutely not. No, I'm not like yeah, I don't an know. egg. I don't know about you, Mathis. You might fold under questioning. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, I'm not giving in. Why not? All right, that's fine. What kind of producer would I be if I did? It would be a surprise. Are you professional or not? I no, think that's that all makes good. me. That makes me professional. Uh, but you're going to be there tomorrow, so he's a part of all these uh, whatever's going to go down tomorrow. No, they're hijinks, and you know I think it's it's a sneak attack that he and Mamola are planning tomorrow. We're going to talk to Bob Nightingale, by the way, from USA Today about the Otani stuff and you know some baseball. We'll get his thoughts on what he thinks the Rays will be doing this season. But the question I have about Otani, Ronnie, and he denied everything which you knew he was going to do, but he didn't take questions, okay? Because yeah, come on, you could you had to expect he wasn't going to take questions. Well, man. and and there's a good reason for that yeah. because you know he doesn't want to get put on the spot. Because the first question I would have is, you know, how does this guy, an interpreter, have access to your bank accounts? I mean. I would not give access to my bank account to the guy who cuts my lawn as much as I love him. <laughs> you know, he wouldn't be doing that. There's got to be a reason why this guy has access to his accounts and there were $500,000 wire transfers taking place to an illegal bookie, by the way, no Nick Nunzio, whatever his name is, in Southern California that the feds are investigating. This is very shady, shady, shady stuff here, and it's from baseball's top player, the top player in the game. It's not like it's uh, some unknown guy who's on the bench he's a bum no not he's not a bum he's an outstanding ball oh, player he's a transition the, he's the, a transcendent player the guy is the face of major league baseball how do you think rob manford feels right now you i i guarantee you roger goodell's going oh, 
better him than me in this situation. Well, and the NFL has had their fair share of guys who have been caught gambling. Sure. But this would be the equivalent of Patrick Mahomes, you know, doing some gambling. This is how well, big wait, wait, this is. you got to say allegedly. We allegedly. don't know for sure. Yes. But, I mean, but being entangled in this kind of controversy. Not, I mean, right at the beginning of the season. And apparently he didn't know this until after that first game in Korea. Remember the game we were joking about? Hey, the baseball season opened, but you didn't know anything about it because the game was on, I don't know, what time of day? It was like 6 a.m. here. 3 a.m. in L.A. But he apparently, because that guy, the the trans, translator or what do you call him? Um, in, inter interpre yeah. Interpreter. Interpreter. Interpreter in it, question was there with him that day, and they were yucking it up. You saw it on ESPN. They were yucking it up because they probably had the over, and that game was 15 to 11. That's why. <laughs> wow, wait a minute. Well. No, 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 no. You insulted him a little bit. Well, look, maybe that's why they were happy. You know, maybe it was a tag team venture. Maybe both of these guys gambled. Who knows? But I'll tell you what. The feds are investigating, and depending upon who's heading up the federal investigation, if that guy's got all of his ducks in a row, we're going to know sooner or later whether or not Shohei Otani was involved in this. And if he is, baseball's got a real mess on their hands. All right, let's go to the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA Hotline. Learn more at CFBHN.org. He's standing by with the baseball season upon us. MLB insider Bob Nightingale from USA Today is back with us here on Ronnie and T. Kraz on WDAE Tampa Bay. How are you, Bob? Yeah, doing great. How are you guys? Very well, man. We're trying to make sense of what's going on with Shohei Otani. So what's your biggest takeaway from that press conference yesterday? Well, pretty much what, what uh, Otani, you know, what he said is almost like, you know, criminal proceedings should be charged against his interpreter for, you know, for uh, hefty allegations. So if those are true, let me interpret. Uh, we got to get a better connection. Sorry about that, Bob. Can you call Bob back there, Chris Mathis? I we, sure can. We have a little bit of a, an echo on the line, and we're going to try and get a cleaner line, but... He did pin everything on his interpreter, and we thought he would do that after he was fired. You know, you got to have a fall guy, as Chris Carter once said back in the day. You know, Tiny's like, okay, we're going to make this guy the fall guy. He stole from me. He's the pusher, not me, to quote Dan Aykroyd from Trading Places. So he's putting all the blame on this guy. So my question is, and my thoughts are, what are going to be the repercussions to not just baseball and betting, <sighs> But all major league sports and betting, if this is true, if, well, I can't say if it's true, if it's, if it's, it's uh, allegations. If Shohei Otani is deeply, if they investigate and find out, and there's got to be a paper trail when we're talking that kind of money. Well, if there are wire transfers, that sort of thing will be very easy to detect. We've got Bob Nightingale back on. There were two half million dollar well, wire and, transfers. And they're going to investigate it further. And if he's caught red-handed, Bob, great to have you back with us. So your biggest takeaway was what? Well, just the allegations that Shohei Otani made against his interpreter. I mean, if those things are true, I mean, the interpreter's going to be spending some time in prison. I mean, he says he knew, you know, nothing. They went to training and covering a gamble, gambling debt. You know, it would just be a slap on the wrist for Otani. But, he, you know, he says he had, knew nothing about anything until his interpreter addressed the, uh, you know, addressed the clubhouse. I mean, I talk to Otani. He understands basic English. He can, you know, you can have conversations with him. So it wasn't like the interpreter was saying, when the interpreter was speaking English, he knew it was Bob, is, is that unusual for an interpreter or a translator to have that kind of access to what an athlete, you know, his finances, or is that normal? I, it, do, it doesn't seem normal to me. All right, we, we've lost Bob again. All right, I don't, All right, know, we just got to, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. But you, you know what I'm saying? Tom? Yeah, no, I mean, it's not normal. No. And that's my point, and we talked, I talked about this yesterday. That's not normal. All right, no. and... You know, any guy that, that works for him, whether it's an interpreter, whether it's a butler, limo driver, again, I mean, I like the guy who cuts my grass. He's not going to have access to my accounts for whatever reason. So it's an odd setup, and it's very peculiar, and it's one that raises a red flag for me. So 
He's going to blame it all on his interpreter. That's going to be his way out of this, Ronnie. This is the guy he stole from me. You know, he put all these, uh, you know, bets on the table. You know, although there were the wire transfers, which can't be done without his permission. That's the only thing. I just, there's a lot of gray area there. Exactly. Two half million. We're not talking like $20 wire transfers here. We're talking about half a million dollar wire transfers. And doesn't doesn't the federal government get noted when you make that kind of a cash transfer? Well, that's a red flag. Yeah. Anytime you're moving that much money, I mean, somebody's going to notice. Let's try one more time with Bob. Bob, how are you again? <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm, I'm at a Cubs Cardinal spring training game, and I don't know why the uh, there why you the, are. Uh, phone service is having trouble. There, there's the problem right there. Tom hates the Cardinals, and they know that, so uh, they're uh, messing with the phones. Who knows? <laughs> But anyway, we were just talking about is it it's not usual for an interpreter to have that kind of access to a player's uh financial financial transactions, right? Well, in this case, I know Tony's been over here for 6 years, a brilliant mind, understands English, you can have conversations with him, you know, and they uh you know, it's one thing he's stealing, you know, 10, 15,000 dollars from an account. But you're talking about four and a half million. You got to know it's disappearing somewhere, and that that's the red flag. That's why people say, "How is this possible?" Uh, like I said, Otani is a brilliant mind, knows about marketing, you know, playing everything else. Uh, so that's you know, you're talking about a very intelligent guy getting duped for sure. And he put all the blame on his interpreter. The interpreter has been fired. I know they're doing this investigation. So. Bob Nightingale, what if Shohei Otani was found to have bet on either baseball or sports? What do you think the commissioner, Rob Manfred, would do? Well, if it's just on sports, it would be a wrist slap. It would be a fine. That's about it. Uh, you know, it happened to Cozart, Jared Cozart of the Marlins 2015. It was just a fine. And uh, so I don't think it would be anything worse than that. Baseball is a different animal, uh, even if he knew – his interpreter was betting on, on baseball. You know, and then you're talking about probably a year suspension, uh, you know, let alone if he did it. So, so. All righty. All right, Bob, we got to let you go because we don't have a great connection here. Just just tell him we'll talk to him soon. But um, if he – that would be the, the big, big, you know, the, the nightmare scenario. If, if they find that Otani did bet – on baseball, I mean, I saw Pete Rose put out a stupid video overnight. <laughs> say, oh, I wish I had an interpreter. You know, I would have gotten off <laughs> scot free. I think we're, we're his exact words. But if we find out that Otani bet on baseball, baseball's best player, then that would be the nightmare scenario. Major League Baseball would have to do something, Ronnie. They would have to suspend him, and I would think this but the punishment would have to be severe. It would have to be at least a year suspension, and then he would have to apply for reinstatement. What a black eye this would be for baseball if this would would is the case. I mean, uh, I I don't know how baseball operates after that if that's the case. It would be a catastrophic blow. It would be. 888-546-4620. Your calls and texts are coming up. We've got fill in the blank a little bit later on as we'll take you up until 7 o'clock. Okay, on the way back, I've got some news. The one USF coach who might be on the verge of leaving, and it's not who you think it is. Details on this next. Thursday is opening day. Join WDAE live from Tropicana Field as we stay live and local from the sunrise to first pitch of the home slate. On the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays, 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. 
WDAE. Traffic update. Wrecking Seminole on eastbound 102nd Avenue near 113th Street. Also one in St. Pete on westbound 1st Avenue North near 34th Street and on Central Avenue and 58th Street. Seeing delays in Tampa northbound 275 approaching downtown southbound 275 approaching I-4 and from Dale Mabry out towards the Howard Franklin Bridge. See traffic problems? Call the tip line 866-545-9595. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Guys, listen up. If you're having trouble in the bedroom or just wanting to enhance performance, age rejuvenation is your solution. Age rejuvenation's proprietary process uses Pulse Wave RX and stem cell therapy for a natural approach to solving your erectile dysfunction. This treatment requires no medication, has no side effects, just results. Call age rejuvenation at 813-774-9662 and mention Pat and get your first treatment for free. Or visit agerejuvenation.com. Pluto TV is TV the way it should be, free. With over 300 channels, thousands of movies and TV shows, costing zeros of dollars. So if you want to watch shows like Ghost, The Walking Dead, CSI, Star Trek, or The Price is Right, well, The Price is Right, it's free. Hit movies like Braveheart, Sonic the Hedgehog, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, or Mean Girls won't cost you a thing because everything is free. All you have to do is download the app, which, by the way, is also free. Pluto TV. Stream now. Pay never. Ew. Gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, March 26th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, March 26th, 813-219-1919. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otensla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Sponsored by Howard Team Homeloans.com. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then... Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Mostly sunny, breezy, and warm this afternoon. High 85 degrees. Cloudy, breezy, and mild this evening. Low 70. Tomorrow's cloudy early. Then we'll see rain, wind, and maybe some strong storms. High 83. This is where Tampa Bay comes to talk sports. We are WDAE on air and streaming live on the iHeartRadio app. Download it now. Yeah. All right, we're back. Ronnie T. Kraz on your radio. Our final in-studio performance. Tomorrow, of course, the big send-off at the Hard Rock. We're going to be there at the L Bar from 3 until 6 p.m. We invite all of you to come on down and join us for one final hurrah, one last toast to the Ronnie T. Kraz program. 
There are supposed to be a lot of surprise guests and elements and stuff. I told you, Bozo the Clown's going to show up, man. Shenanigans. Uh, there's going to be a lot of interesting things happening at the Hard Rock tomorrow, so we hope to see you all there. And then the day after that, we're all going to be broadcasting live for opening day from Tropicana Field from sunrise to first pitch, and it'll actually be the debut of your brand new show, Tom, at noon, not at 3 o'clock. Yes, because the Rays play at 410, so the drive with t Kraz, yours truly, will debut at noon on Thursday. And then we're going to be on our normal time will be 3 to 7 weekdays, and that will be on Friday, our normal time at 3 o'clock. So looking forward to that. And, of course, Ronnie, the full-time host of Inside Pitch, which will come your way at 3.30, leading up to Rays baseball coverage, the Rays and the Blue Jays. But our opening day coverage is presented by our good friends at the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families, and, of course, your radio home for Rays baseball, WDAE. So yesterday, AAR, Amir Abdul Rahim, was on with Jay Retcher, and he talked about the process of you know, pulling off this one-year turnaround with the USF men's basketball program. They won 25 games. They lost the VCU. Uh, some teams and programs have come calling. You know, Michigan checked in briefly before they hired Dusty May. It's a great job for Dusty May from Florida Atlantic. He gets the Michigan job. The Louisville job, I think, is still available. So I think Amir Abdul Rahim is safe for at least a year, but I think by 2026, Ronnie, I think he's going to be gone. A lot of people talking about Alex Golish and, of course, the one-year turnaround that he incorporated with the football program, and that's a double-edged sword of being here at USF. You got a program that's successful. The coach is probably going to jump to greener pastures. Now, a lot of people are fixated on those two guys in particular, but I'm here to tell you about one guy who may very well has seen his better days and one guy who may have his days numbered here at USF. And Joey and I did have the story in the Tampa Bay Times today, uh, late last night into today, and that would be the USF women's basketball coach, Jose Fernandez. He is being wooed right now by the University of Miami. And I can tell you, and I know Joey mentioned it, the feeling is mutual. I actually talked to Jose last night about all of this and he was quite frank with me and I'm not going to divulge the details of our conversation but here's what I will tell you Jose is originally from the Miami area he's an FIU alum so that is home for him now he has spent 24 years here at USF where he's had a tremendous amount of success don't forget when he took over that program that was one of the worst programs in the entire nation. They were mired in controversy. You can Google, look it up. It's all there for you to peruse. So we completely turned the USF women's basketball program around. I spent two years there as a play-by-play -play person, so I got a chance to know him, and we've been friends for 20 years. They've gone to the tournament nine times. They've won a WNIT championship. He also went to the semifinals of the NIT another year, so... He continues to recruit. He continues to win. He continues to go to the tournament. But guess what, Ronnie? Every time he goes to the tournament, he's either an 8 or a 9 seed. And guess what? You win your opening round game, you face the number one seed in the next round, and they're just not good enough to beat you know, South Carolina or Tennessee or some of these other UConn, these other number one seeds that typically get number one seeds from around the nation. So here's the sense that I've gotten from Jose that, Maybe, just maybe, he has taken this program about as far as he can take them. They're in the act. They're not going to another conference, a super conference, anytime soon. The numbers that Joey Knight had were correct in the Times this morning. Jose Fernandez makes 800000 His buyout is $1 million. Now, if University of Miami is interested, and they are interested, by the way, if they come forward with the buyout and if they offer a mil to a mil one, a mil two per season, I think Jose Fernandez is going to Miami. I think if all those things happen, they meet the buyout and he gets over a million a year, I think we might see Jose leaving and going back home. For him, that's home, which is Miami. Which, to me, it makes a whole lot of sense. Who would not want to go back home and coach at home with a major program like the University of Miami's. Well, and that's the thing. And that, it's nothing against USF. No, that's just the way it is. They're just they're not Miami and they're right. not in the ACC and and that is an opportunity for him to go to 
a bigger conference where he can recruit much better players, where it will not only get him into the tournament, which he's been nine times, maybe he can win a couple more games and advance the program and go deeper into the month of March. And I know he's frustrated about that because, let me tell you, in the 20-plus years that I've known Jose, he's one of the most competitive guys that I've ever met. Like everything we've ever done, from recruiting to coaching to playing cards, the guy wants to win at whatever he does. That's just how he is. That's how I am, too. So we've had plenty of great times doing that. But I can tell you that, yes, the interest is mutual, to confirm Joey's report. He makes 800 If Miami meets the buyout and they offer him $1.1 to $1.2 million, I think he's gone. Not only that, Tom, you mentioned recruiting, and that's the lifeblood of any collegiate program. With the NIL money that the Miami boosters have, now keep in mind, USF is a state school, but they do have some great boosters. Miami is a private school. They have, any, they have boosters who have even more money and more resources. And he's got wonderful connections down in the Miami area. I remember we went down there and they played, it was FIU. One of those two years that I was calling the games, and we went down there, and Jose knew everybody down there. Everybody who came to the game was a college friend or a high school friend or a coach, so he's got great connections. I think he would do wonders at the University of Miami because he's got the connections in that South Florida area to recruit and beyond, and you've seen, and Jose's done this with the USF women's program. Okay, he's not only got gotten really good talent here, but he has gone overseas to get great talent. Spain, Portugal, overseas into Europe, and he's gotten some really good players to come here and play for USF, and I think he would do the same for the U. So this is something that bears watching. Everyone's fixated on AAR and Alex Golish, but it's Jose Fernandez who's got the greater chance to lead the, this USF program if Miami steps up. Well, and these are also good problems for USF to have, coaches that everybody else wants. I mean, that doesn't happen too often. It's uh, Well, it's yes a and no, because because you, you lose them, then you're back to square run. Well, and I tell you, they're, they're going to have a really, really, really hard time replacing Jose Fernandez if he leaves. But my point is the programs, the athletic programs, have not been at that level recently. And now they're getting back to that, which is a good thing for Mike Kelly and what he's doing. Well, there. it's also a bad thing, too. It's a double-edged sword because if you make the right hire, coach comes in, does a great job, then boom, in two or three years, he's off for a bigger, better job. That's just the way it is. So we'll keep a close eye on this. But, you know, I had a very interesting conversation with coach uh, yesterday about a number of different subjects, by the way. But uh, <laughs> sure. and, and, and I wish him the very best of luck. He and his lovely wife, Tanya. And... If he does go down to Miami, don't begrudge the man for going home. Don't begrudge the man for being frustrated because I think he has maxed out. I think he has topped out here at USF, and that's the feeling that I got after talking to him. Now, he loves Tampa. Now, he's lived here for a long time. He loves the Tampa Bay area. He's in, ensconced in the community. You know, people in that building, they, they love him on campus as well. He's a great worker. He respects a lot of different people. But this is an opportunity for him that he may not be able to pass up. So we'll keep a close eye. And I think in the next week or so, maybe sooner, we're going to get an answer. Can't fault him if he wants to go home and coach at uh, a bigger school or a school with more resources. Let's put it that way. 888-546-4620. Your calls and your texts and everything else is on tap here. We've got one hour of the books. Fill in the blank is coming up a little bit later on. On the way back. We've got some bucks in NFL talk for you. Some rules changes that you need to know with the season right around the corner. What are they doing on Christmas Day in the NFL? Plus, the head coach, Todd Bowles, on the one newcomer that has him all excited. That is next. Thursday, join WTAE as we welcome in a new era in afternoons across Tampa Bay and around the world. Buckle up for The Drive with t A new beginning for a new era of Tampa Bay sports conversation. Rays, Bucks, Bolts, and more. Join us and punch that preset for the debut of The Drive with t Live from Tropicana Field on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. You wouldn't know it, but most financial advisors are put in a box. I'm Jeff Jr. from Trajan Wealth, and I want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors. 
Most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell. And many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard. A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best, just suitable. Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and in product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. If you're celebrating a milestone anniversary this year or just starting the process of picking out that engagement ring, welcome to International Diamond Center. At IDC, we're one of a few jewelers around the world with direct access to exquisite diamonds from Namibia. These are the highest quality, most brilliant diamonds on the planet. And with IDC's connections with the cutters, you can be assured of the ultimate in value with no middleman markups. And just as important as the brilliance of our diamond is the source itself. An IDC diamond comes only from specific mines that follow strict international laws and environmental standards. Not only do we guarantee conflict-free diamonds, we are proud that when you purchase an IDC diamond, you are helping provide dignified employment, much-needed education, and necessary health care to African families. So come and shop with confidence at IDC. Confidence in the quality, the value, and the integrity of our diamonds. International Diamond Center. Transparency, honesty, responsibility. Learn more at shopidc.com or visit our show room today in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-MINUTE. Ronnie Lane here. Here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized, inflation-adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking an acid after an acid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number two 
GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RivardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RivardBuickGMC.com today. GMC, we are professional grade ebay motors is here for the ride go ahead feel your engine admire that perfectly installed exhaust your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love with ebay motors you get over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Fence Outlet has the largest assortment of vinyl, wood, aluminum, chain link, and steel fences in Florida. That means we have the styles you want at the guaranteed lowest price. Right now, put no money down and get 0% financing on any fence. Go to fenceoutlet.com today. License number C-10252 and C-10803. Hi, Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo team with LPT Realty. Are you looking to sell a high-end home? The official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning offer exclusive video technology to get your luxury home listing in front of qualified buyers all over the world. Visit us at DuncanDuo.com. When something happens to your car, you might say, Well, that's just great. Oh, perfect. Awesome. How nice for me. But what you really need to say is, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. To help you file your claim. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Hey guys, Jay Retcher here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Emily Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You gotta try their grilled wings and Ebor egg rolls. Fan favorites. And they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to topshelfsportslounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat? In downtown Tampa, my answer always, Top Shelf Sports Lounge. We've been driving for six hours, and I haven't coughed once. You took Mucinex DM 12 Hour. It gives you 12 full hours of cough and chest congestion relief. So you got another six hours of me singing road trip songs. Yay. Buy Mucinex DM 12 Hour. Use as directed. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. This is Tampa Bay's home for the best sports conversation in the Bay. We are 620 WTAE St. Petersburg. 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WVTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224PE Brandon. Streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Listen for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free never sounded so good. It's Tuesday. Get in here, we gotta go fast now. Come on, let's go, you guys. From Gulfport to Clearwater and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio, it's time for the best sports conversation on your ride home. Welcome to the Ronnie and T Crash Show. Afternoon drive on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Uh. We'll have a lot more communication. You know, Jordan was great when he was here before. He was a great communicator and leader for us when he was on the field. Him and Levante clicked a couple years ago, and I'm sure Levante is one of the happiest guys to have him back. I'm happy to have him back. And Winfield, the whole team is happy to have him back in the fold and just look forward to with the experience that he's gotten in New York to help us get better on the back end. Yeah, you can say that. That was Todd Bowles, <laughs> followed by the Levante drop there. Todd Bowles speaking at the NFL's owners' meetings, and he is so happy to have Jordan Whitehead back with his Buccaneer team, a two-year deal. Jordan Whitehead won a Super Bowl here, and then he left, went to the Jets for three years, actually became a better player, especially in coverage. Remember that big game against Josh mm -hmm. Allen, picked him off three times last year, and now he's back with the Buccaneers as a better all-around player. And for that two-year deal, he's coming back into a great situation. As we welcome you back, it's Ronnie T. Kraz on your radio. Great to have you with us. Hour number two, our final studio show. Because tomorrow night, 
We're going to be live at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino from 3 until 6 o'clock for the final show. It's going to be one last hurrah, however you want to call it, the final chapter. And then uh, Thursday for Ray's opening day, we're going to begin the new venture here for us both, Ronald. Hello. Hey, very much uh, so. It is exciting. It's a lot going on, a lot for people to digest. We're just going to have fun tomorrow. We're having fun on the program today, but tomorrow... Oh, yeah, we'll, cowboy hat. Well, tomorrow's going to be a celebration for both me and Tom, and we're looking very much forward to it. And we couldn't do it without you, the listener. We really could not do it without you. So that's why you're all invited to join. We know everyone can't make it to the Hard Rock, to the L Bar. Personally, I hope some people don't come. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on. That's not nice. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're going to have a lot of fun. A lot of special things are supposed to happen. Chris Mathis is in on this. Who? And uh, he and John Who? Mola, what? John Mamola and some other higher ups here. Are you or not? I've got some stuff in store for us, Tom. We know there's some key people, some important people in the sports world maybe dropping by. That's fine. That's great. We love it. Uh, Brian Ford, the chief operating officer of the Buccaneers. I didn't know if he wanted me to make this public or not, but he texted both of us today and said, I'll see you guys there tomorrow. He did, and we're looking forward to seeing Brian Ford. He's one of our favorite people and closest friends of the show, so he is the one confirmed guest, but everything else is on the down low. So <laughs> you guys are welcome to come on down and join us tomorrow at the L Bar, which is right there near the escalators and the piano. That's the adjacent bar. Right next to the craps tables, too, so you can go over there and, you know, gamble away and then come over and Monday. enjoy the... Yes, it is nice, Tyler Glass, now. Uh, we're going to have Def Leppard tickets tomorrow as well. we probably got all kinds oh, of things yeah, to man. give away tomorrow. We we're are? Ronnie. Really? We've got Def Leppard tickets to give away today, as we did yesterday. So a pair of tickets will be uh, given away at some point. They're coming to Camping World Stadium on July the 10th. And we also have a four-pack of tickets for the Rays Blue Jays game on Friday night at the Trop. That's a 650 first pitch, by the way, for Friday's game. So a great Friday night. Four tickets for the first Friday night Rays home game of the season and Def Leppard tickets. That's how we treat you guys. That's what we do for you. What are you doing for us besides texting in idiotic comments and really from one BS artist who doesn't know his elbow <laughs> from his ass? Oh, come on, man. Yeah, he's just having a little fun with us. Yeah, That's yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. I, I got some fun right here. Uh, I see the last three numbers in his phone there, but, uh, you know, he's talking about you sending people to Miami again. That's well, not what you're doing. I'll send this guy to freaking, uh, you know, <laughs> Siberia if I could, because that's where exactly where he belongs. What about, like, Germany? This is how we find Germany. Dr. Do Dr. Jones? <laughs> So, Todd Bowles is very happy to have his guy, Jordan Whitehead, back. Uh, a perfect fit for this Buccaneer team. They signed a couple of offensive linemen as well. And I know Todd Bowles talked about the changes to the interior line in terms of two big bodies, Sua Opeta from the Eagles, and, of course, Ben Brennanson of the Giants. Here's the Buccaneer head coach, Todd Bowles, on addressing the interior of the O-line. Really like both guys that we had. Uh, Breeden from, from the Giants, he's played all along the offensive line, but if you leave him in the same place, he was a very good player. And one we got from Philly is huge size guy. He started in some ball games, losing Leverett. Obviously, we get some. And Stenny, obviously, we get some. <laughs> guys that are fighting for a starting Let's spot go. doesn't mean we won't add any uh, and we can add any if we get some but those guys we really like that we signed did you hear that we'll we'll add any right at the end play that right at the end there you know todd bowles very slick move out of him we get some and stenny obviously we get some guys that are fighting for a starting spot doesn't mean we won't add any uh, and we can add any if we get some but we could add any if we get some which means the Buccaneers are very open to adding to that room in the draft, and I expect them to. Honestly, I expect the interior of the old line to be addressed in the early rounds, a first or second round pick. They've got four picks in the first three rounds. It would not surprise me to see the Buccaneers, you know, pick two offensive linemen with those first four picks and an edge rusher and a receiver, maybe. It kind of depends on how the draft falls to them. You're picking at 26, so. A lot of different scenarios could develop. Jason Light could stay at 26. He could move up. He could move back. We've seen him do all three. At either rate, uh, the Bucks, I think, are in better shape heading into this offseason than they were a year ago for a number of reasons. Now, the fact that they have another offensive coordinator, that's 
That's not a great thing, but at least his system is something that the current quarterback is familiar with in Baker Mayfield. And the other good thing is they already have a quarterback in place that has really taken to this team, and this team has really taken to Baker Mayfield. So that's an advantage over last season when no one knew what to expect from Baker Mayfield. But he delivered. No, I'm not trying to stir anything up, Baker. You delivered. The question is, can you make it two good seasons in a row when your track record has been a good season, a bad season, a good season, a bad season, and the Bucks need to see that pattern broken this season? Well, it would be nice, and I think they structure the contract as such where he's going to get $30 million all guaranteed this year, and I expected the Bucks to do that, and they did. They're going to guarantee most of the money in 2025, about – you know, 20 of the 30 million there. So it's basically a two and 60 deal with the third year being non-guaranteed at $40 million. None of that is guaranteed. That's kind of like an option. I mean, if Baker hits it out of the park two years in a row, which would make it three straight years in the NFL, something that he has never done, then the Bucks would be more than happy to pay $40 million plus a year for a quarterback that's proven three years in a row that he can do the job. So I don't think the Bucks have any problem with that. And speaking of Todd Bowles and Baker Mayfield, you know that Baker was his hand-picked guy, and you saw his best year of his career this past season with the Buccaneers. But Todd Bowles stated today that, oh, yeah, Baker can always do better. Here's the head coach. Well, there's always always little things. There's, there's still the grasp of the offense. Obviously, from Dave to Liam calling plays, you have to get a better feel. Oh. So they've been together. They haven't been together like this, starting from scratch for a full year. Uh, just take command of the offense and making the adjustments. And he did that last year, but there's still some nuances we can get better at, and he'll be the first to tell you that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stir <laughs> oh, stop well, that's your that. head coach, yeah. Baker. Come on. I think the one thing that Todd said, I'm going to say it one time, time. not at this time. Here's what I'll say. And the one thing that Todd said in that clip makes the most sense to me is Baker learning to protect himself better. He's not the biggest guy in the world. Look, we, we all admire his toughness. He's got the offensive lineman type of mentality. You heard Jason like call him a prick uh, on a scale of one to 10. He was an absolute 10 which he took as a compliment because, I mean, he's a tough guy. I mean, he's going to absorb the hit, and he's going to talk some trash. But I think if there's one thing that I want to see Baker do better is protect himself. Slide feet first, get out of bounds. You're not the biggest guy in the world. He means an awful lot to this team moving forward, and the Buccaneers need to keep him upright. So you're saying Baker's got to play smarter, basically. Well, well and, basically just, uh, you know, yeah, not, no, not take unnecessary <laughs> shots. <laughs> And I, I guarantee you the coaching staff would love for that to happen with Baker. And maybe Baker hears all of that as well. I think he had so much to prove last season that he just put it, and not saying he's not going to put it all on the line this season, but, you know, to a certain extent, you got to back off on some of that toughness stuff, some of that tough guy stuff, because it's just, you know, this league is too tough and it's too hard on quarterbacks for you to continue to take the punishment. That hit that the Honey Badger laid on him, in that New Orleans game, we heard, who who was it, Rashad White was on or somebody was on, said they thought he was out for the game. I can't remember which player. Look what talk. they're doing to this man. Exactly. <laughs> that player said, I thought Baker was done, man, after uh, that. Look, you don't want that to happen. And that was certainly a frightening hit, and Baker bounced back from that. He showed his toughness, man. And I think the coaching staff and the players admire him for doing so. But I just want to see him be smarter about, the decision he makes when he decides to run with the ball. Slide feet first, get out of bounds. I think you'll live a longer, healthier life as a result. You know, one of the acquisitions they've also made this all season is another corner. You know, Carlton Davis is gone. He was Ooh. traded. Carlton Davis, your boy, man. Uh, what do they call themselves? <sighs> the Grave Diggers? They got to come up with a new name. But you like this kid, Bryce Hall. I do. And... Uh, Coach echoed some of the same thoughts that you had on Bryce Hall. Here's what Coach had to say about what he has seen from this player, who I think could be a great addition to the secondary, man. Well, he signed a one-year prove-it deal, and the talent is there. You know, when he came out of Virginia, he could have gone a lot higher in the draft than he did a few years back, but he had a broken fibula. 
He's a long, lanky corner. He fits the mold of what Todd Bowles wants in his defensive backs. If you're going to play corner, outside corner in Todd Bowles' system, you got to be at least six foot one. Bryce Hall is six foot one. He's long. He's athletic. He can play man. He can play zone. You know, the injuries have certainly held him back. And then he got caught in a place in New York where he finally was healthy. You got, you know, DJ Reed on one side. They signed him as a big time free agent. And then they drafted Sauce Gardner very high in the first round. And he became, you know, one of the two or three best corners in all of football. So there wasn't a spot for him. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Jason Light a few years ago signing Shaq Barrett. Remember, Shaq Barrett was a guy that was stuck behind Bradley Chubb and Von Miller in Denver. They knew there was some talent there, and they're like, okay, let's get this guy in our building on a one-year deal and see what we can do with him. Next thing you know, he comes here, he gets his opportunity, he blows up, he leads the NFL in sacks with 19 and a half in 2019, and then the next year he's chasing Patrick Mahomes all around the football field in the Super Bowl helping the Bucks to win that big game. I think Bryce Hall could have a similar type of impact. He was stuck behind some really good corners, and now he comes here for an opportunity to compete with Zion McCollum at one of those outside corners. I really like this signing. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice signing, and Coach loves it even more. Here's what he had to say about Bryce Hall at the uh, NFL meetings. Bryce Hall is a very good football player. Uh, he's an outside corner, highly intelligent, very Ooh. long. He's very long, just like Zion and Dean is. Uh, plays great man-to-man, has a good feel for zone. Uh, he has some injury issues in the ha- in the past, but if we can keep him healthy, I think he'll be a good addition for us. And Tavier plays nickel as well as special teams. Tavier. Tavier. That's the guy they got from the Houston Texans. He's going to compete with Christian Izian for that slot corner position. He can play a little bit of safety, too. So um, I don't believe the Buccaneers will be drafting defensive backs this year. I think they've got enough guys. And look, if there's a guy that kind of falls to them that they like, maybe, you know, if there's a guy that falls to them, like, well, I can't believe this guy's still on the board. we got a first-round grade on him. Here we are in round two, and this guy's still there. Maybe they spend that pick on him. But I think there is enough talent and depth, and we do know that Jamel Dean has been banged up a little bit, but I kind of like the makeup, the overall makeup, the secondary. They signed Bryce Hall. They got uh, Tavier, what's his name, from the Texans, and Jordan Whitehead. So I think they're pretty good back there. Yeah, Tavier. Yeah, they've got other um, other areas that they need to concentrate on, and you've mentioned them. I've mentioned them. They've got to get another edge rusher. I think they could do that in this draft, and the interior of the offensive line needs a lot of attention, in our opinion, so... We'll see how that plays out and how the draft falls to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But they're in a great position right now to be able to maneuver and look for what they're actually wanting and waiting for that draft to develop in front of them so they can pick who they have on their board or have high marks on on their particular draft board. Now, you're ever going to get a chance to go in there and look at that draft board and see, you know, what Jason, like you and the cigars with Jason, I thought maybe he might give you a peek at their draft board, man. Well, look. Um, and, and I'll issue this to, to Jason Light. If if he wants another big, and look, I I got him. You you want a really good cigar, I got him. All right, just give me a peek. I just want a peek. All right, I'm not going to put the entire draft board on the air. I think I'm a little more responsible than that. But in exchange for, a, for another cigar, Jason. I want one of those cigars. Yeah, you'll get one. But... Give me a peek at the draft board. I want to see what the draft board looks like. He's laughing his ass off right now if he's hearing that uh, or somebody that tells again. him. Yeah, say that again. We might get a text in a couple of minutes like Nunya. Yeah. Just like Eric Neander. All these GMs have a, you know, have a pension for saying, you know, what, Nunya? Yes. <laughs> did you see, did you hear that yesterday, Ronnie, when you were out? Nunya. Yeah, that so, too, but Eric Neander was listening and what he told Tom. Oh, yeah. So I'm in, I'm interviewing a guy, Brian Anderson, and we're talking about, you know, the Rays pitching and yada, yada, yada. So I get to your boy Waggispack, and I I think I refer to him as Jeff, Jeff Waggispack. <laughs> so you did. 30 seconds later, it's Jacob. I get this text. It's Jacob. And it was Eric Neander. He goes, <laughs> he goes, I'm taking notes. Uh, uh, I'm listening to everything he said. So oh, that's it, funny. It was kind of funny. Um, yeah, um, yes. But by the way, 
Uh, Eric Neander, El Presidente, is not only scheduled to join us Thursday from opening day for the premiere show of The Drive with T-Kras. He's going to join us on Fridays, too. So this week, you get a double dose of Eric Neander on Thursday and then again on Friday. Hopefully, when he comes on on Friday, we're talking about a 1-0 baseball team. That would be lovely. That would mean Zach Eflin had a great start. Hopefully, he does have a great start. Against this offensive-minded Toronto Blue Jays club. We'll get to the Rays, though, in a moment. All right, speaking of which, 888-546-4620, we do know that the Rays have suffered quite a few injuries as they get ready to raise the curtain of the 2024 season. That's on you. Uh, it's on me. Always, It's always on me. But <laughs> I tell you what, um, if I were like Taj Bradley with his pectorals or... You know, Josh Lowe, I would urge anybody to go to QC Kinetics because they are the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief with no drugs, no surgery, no downtime. Pro athletes have been using this method for so many years, and now it's available to regular guys like you and me. They are literally transforming lives like yours truly. I had bad elbow pain from a couple of years ago. Dr. Sukerman and his team of professionals, boom, they cured it. I feel awesome. And then I had some nagging knee pain and soreness. Last year into this year, and after a couple of treatments there, thanks to Haley and Yelena and everyone down there, I love them down there at QC Kinetics, they fixed that too. Advanced treatments, guys, that harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. No pain pills, no risky surgery. This is an all-natural solution. So get your life back, guys. The weather is outstanding outside. You want to be able to get out there and enjoy everything that the Tampa Bay region has to offer without your knee, your back, your shoulder, or your hip continuing to bother you. So don't succumb to the agonizing joint pain. Get your life back, guys. Call QC Kinetics. Get a free consultation. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics. Locations in Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Brandon. Tell me, boy, Tom Krasnicki sent you. All right, speaking of the Rays. Are they ready for the Toronto Blue Jays and game one, which is on Thursday, plus Shohei Otani? I bet I can tell you what's going to happen with him. That's also next. Ready for a visual feast of sports talk? WDAE's Ronnie and T-Crass, Pat and Aaron, and J&Z are now streaming live on YouTube. Search WDAE, smash that like button, and subscribe for your front row pass to all the action. WDAE on YouTube. Like and subscribe. WDAE. Traffic update. Crash in Tampa blocking at least one lane on eastbound MLK near the Hillsborough River and traffic slow from before Armenia. Also, we're seeing delays on northbound 275 from State Road 62 downtown Tampa. Earlier fire department activity in St. Petersburg on southbound 275 before the Skyway Bridge. They were blocking one lane that that since cleared up. Traffic getting back up to speed south of the toll plaza, but traffic slow from before 54th Avenue South. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Wendy's Classic Hamburger. This March at Wendy's, get a Dave single for a buck or Dave's double for just two bucks with the in-app offer. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Hey guys, t Kraz here for C4MH.com. Well, it's the holiday season, and with all that comes the New Year's resolutions, guys, to hit the gym. But remember, if you're over 40, you can't build muscle with low T. Testosterone is the primary hormone needed for building muscle. And if you have low T, you'll be working twice as hard at the gym and getting nowhere. So know before you go. Get your testosterone tested at C4MH.com. Just $45 gets you lab results and a medical exam. And C4MH.com only treats with pharmaceutical testosterone, Never that cheap cut rate compounded tea that all those pop-up tea clinics use. C4MH.com never makes you pay for treatments in advance. No financial contracts to sign. No financing needed. As C4MH.com is a medical clinic, not a marketing company. Just $85 for treatment twice a month and $90 for labs. No surprises and no upsells or add-ons. C4MH.com, the leader in low T care. 18 locations between Tarping Springs and Naples. Hit them up at C4MH.com. The tournament is here. 
year. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contest out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up until the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today to stay updated on all the action. Bet Online. The game starts here. The waves were mighty and fierce as could be When my lady and I got lost at sea We tossed and turned and we nearly drowned When my brave little boat went down huh. Whoa, 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 no, none of that's true You haven't had a date in a year or two The sea was calm and the sky was clear And you crashed right into the pier Yeah, fine Accidents don't just happen in sea shanties So Progressive Boat Insurance has you covered Take as little as four minutes to see what you can save at Progressive.com Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates Covered subject to policy terms and not available for all boats or in all situations Rivard Buick GMC is the number two GMC dealer in the country, and they want to hold on to that number two. So they're going to keep doing what they've been doing to get there. Huge inventory, massive discounts, regardless of what time of the year it is. The middle, the end of the month, it doesn't matter. It's always a great deal. Unbeatable discounts. All you have to do is visit RivardBuickGMC.com. See for yourself. Try and find another dealer with discounts that insane on every vehicle. Rivard Buick GMC. GMC. We are professional grade. When something happens to your kitchen and you say, This is ludicrous. You get having trouble? Don't panic. Don't be alarmed. You need to file a claim? Holla at State Farm. That's right. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Hey there, Tampa Bay. It's Steve and Elizabeth Holland at the Holland Group. We want to talk to you about the importance of tax planning, or as we like to call it, the art of legally keeping your money away from Uncle Sam. But 30 years of experience, we realize there are tax strategies you may not know about. If done properly, we can save you real money. So call the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, serving Tampa Bay since 1993. 727-228-6449. We've been driving for six hours, and I haven't coughed once. You took Mucinex DM 12-hour. It gives you 12 full hours of cough and chest congestion relief. So you got another six hours of me singing road trip songs. Yay. Buy Mucinex DM 12-hour. Use as directed. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Freeform Radio. Radio. A unique blend of Americana, classic alternative, and roots rock. Open the free iHeartRadio app, search Freeform Radio, and listen now, commercial free. Free never sounded so good. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Mostly sunny, breezy, and warm this afternoon. High 85 degrees. Cloudy, breezy, and mild this evening. Low 70. Tomorrow's cloudy early. Then we'll see rain, wind, and maybe some strong storms. High 83. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think, you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio, 95.3 WDAE and AM620, home of the best Bolts coverage. Well, yeah, listen, I, I just can't wait to see how he uh, continues to progress as a defender um, and, and getting more comfortable at the major league level. You know, it's not easy being, being a young guy and being asked to, you know, to cover, you know, different positions. And I, I know that he's putting his work in behind the scenes, but to see how he continues to develop defensively because we know he has the hit tool. That is our guy, Brian Anderson. Oh, I, I love this Will Smith, man. This is my this is my vibe right here. All right, play this all day tomorrow. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ronnie T. Kraz back on your radio. Great to have you with us. A little Will Smith in the background. Feels like summertime out there. Summertime means what, Ronnie? 
Baseball. The boys of summer are back. Baseball, baby. Look at that. If you're watching on the stream, you know, right there. There you have it. Uh, I just thought I'd look in our grab bag of raised goodies here. Always very popular. Miss Bobby waits on this every year. Oh, dude, I love the, the refrigerator magnet. The refrigerator baby. magnet with the schedule. With the schedule attached, I love that. I put that up on my fridge, and I'm always I'm looking at that thing like two, three times a day. So and here's the other thing, Miss Bobby loves. She loves her some Jose Siri, so she's going to be in for it with this. This is nice, man. The Jose Siri. Uh, necklace, which they will be giving away. Twelve, The first 12,000 fans, if you go to the game on Sunday, you're going to get a Jose Siri replica necklace presented by Dex Imaging. So this is what it looks like if you're watching on the stream. Really nice. I can't fit this around my big head. but Now, you're a runner, so you're going to be participating in the uh, Rays 5K. That's coming up, uh, when is that? Sunday, um, April the 7th? Oh, that's my sister's birthday. Oh, man. Yeah, well, I can't. I, yeah, I got something going on there. I hope she's not listening. <laughs> but oh, come I, on. Well, because, you know, we got something something happening yeah. that day. My, my sister's been really a godsend over the last few months with everything that's been going on. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to make that one. But I, I love the refrigerator magnet. This is fantastic. So if you're going to the game on opening day, and obviously it is a sellout, but the first 20,000 fans will get a Rays magnet, which will go right up in my fridge when I get home. This is awesome. 18 consecutive home sellouts. That just tells you a little bit about what this organization under this ownership has been doing with this baseball club. Well, and, I, and I'll tell you something else, Ronnie, that the Rays did yesterday. You weren't here yesterday, so let me reach into my bag, by the what way. What you got, doggy? So uh, this is how thoughtful the Rays organization is, and... Look, you know, love them or hate them, you know, a lot of people don't like Stu or whatever. Uh, I respect the guy, you know, once in a while, you know, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. level my constructive criticism, especially when it comes to the stadium. But look, the Rays have been winners, but we have a tremendous amount of respect for Stu Sternberg, the presidents, Brian, all the Matt Silverman, all the way down the line, Eric Neander, friend of the program, Brian, Kevin, all, all of them, Kevin Cash, friend yeah. of the program. But I, I received this yesterday in the mail, and it was a sympathy card from oh. the Rays marketing team that was signed by nice. all of the marketing members, including Raymond. You see Raymond? Let me see Raymond's Ray signature. Ray oh, that's hilarious, Raymond's bro. signature was on this, too. So this was a handwritten note from the Rays marketing team regarding the loss of my dad, and this was this touched me to no end. I... Even looking at this now, I'm starting to tear up, and I just want to it's thank all good, the race for okay. doing it. Yeah. You know. uh, well, they're they're all. You know, what? we're blessed to have th all three of our major sports franchises here. Are very classy organizations. They are. They're they're all the Rays are classy. The Buccaneers are very classy. Our guy Brian Ford's going to be with us tomorrow at the Hard Rock for our farewell show, and of course the Tampa Bay Lightning. You can't say enough about what Jeffrey Vinnick has done. Steve Griggs, near and dear friend of the program. He's awesome as well, all the way down the line. We saw John Cooper a couple of weeks ago. He came up to us. I mean, uh, future Hall of Fame coach. Lightning, by the way, killing it on the road trip. We talked about that while you were away. I still can't believe they got nine out of possible ten points on that trip. Nine, nine out of ten, and they are on fire now. Boston comes in tomorrow. There's 11 games left. Seven of them are at home, so be the thunder. Get down there and support the boys because they deserve it. Steven Stamkos. Turned it up a notch or two, especially on the tail end of that trip. So it looks like the Lightning are starting to get things back together. And then you got the Rays, Ronnie. And I, I want to talk about them because yesterday, yeah, I was stirring it up a little bit. What would you say? Well, I said that, look, I I wasn't sure. I mean, uh, on, the, on, this face, on the surface of it, face value, this does not appear to look like a playoff team. Right now. Now, obviously, things can change, but I'm looking at the starting rotation. I see questions there. I think the bullpen is outstanding. They need to keep certain guys healthy in terms of their positional players. I'm not sure if Isak Paredes is going to hit 31 home runs. Josh Lowe is already out. I think they're going to be aggressive in terms of getting out there and stealing bases. Richie Palacios has gotten better, I think, as the spring has Progress. We certainly got him on the show. That was our look. A lot of you like to criticize us for having guys on the show, and then uh, apparently they go into the tank. 
Richie Palacios came on the show and he got better. He was a better person and a better player because of his appearance on this show. So congrats to Richie Palacios, the pride of Brooklyn, for making this team. Yeah, we love us some Richie Palacios. You know I love him. He came over here out of that St. Louis Cardinals organization. And, you know, the last time the Cardinals gifted the Rays with a player was Randy Arozarena. Look how that Not turned yet. out. Yeah. <laughs> That turned out great, so we're hoping uh, more of the same happens with Richie Palacios. And because of the early injuries, he's going to have a chance to do some things at the beginning of the season that he may not have had before without the injuries to the likes of Josh Lowe and Jonathan Aranda. So we'll see how this all plays out, but so far so good with Richie Palacios, who found his power stroke with the St. Louis Cardinals last summer. He did, and look, uh, he had 315 this spring. He got another hit today. The Rays and the Tigers played to a 3-3 tie over at the Trop in the final spring training game of 2024 as we get ready for the regular season opener on Thursday. Now, two positive developments took place today. One, Brandon Lau, and he, to me, is a huge key. In terms of the position of players, he's the biggest key. And if he can stay healthy for 130 games, he's going to hit 27 to 30 home runs. He hit a home run today, and he did strike out twice. But it feels like he's starting to round into form, getting his timing down. And he is a very, very critical part of this everyday team. And hopefully he can stay healthy because, again, yep. if, if he plays 130 games, Ronnie, he's hitting 27 to 30 dingers. I'm not worried about him if he stays healthy. The key is staying healthy, and he hasn't been able to do that in the last couple of years, and the Rays desperately need for him to be that way this season so that the offense continues to roll. Yandy Diaz, you talk about a model of consistency. He never hit below 300 the entire season a season ago, and he was gifted with an American League batting crown. And, which, he, and, he, and he hit, hit a home, run, home today. run today. I think he's got four home runs now this spring. Well, he's been fantastic, and he's one of the best leadoff hitters in all of baseball. And usually, you know, when I was a kid growing up, leadoff hitters were guys who got on base, who can steal bases. Ricky Henderson is the greatest leadoff hitter of all time. But... I grew up in an era where it's, it was Ricky Henderson, then it was like Mookie Wilson, it was Vince Coleman. Nowadays, with the analytics, it's guys who make contact, who spray to all fields, guys like Yandy Diaz who hit with a little bit of pop, and he's one of the best leadoff hitters in the game. He got a home run today. He looks good. The other positive from today, Ronnie, is the youngster, Ryan Pepio, who was dominant. Six innings, no runs, two hits, eight strikeouts for the youngster Ryan Pepio. He can bring it, man, and this oh, is man. what... You know, <laughs> he's the guy that's replacing that guy right there, Tyler Glass now. He was the big piece in that deal that sent Tyler to the Dodgers, and it's odd that both of these guys started the season on the injured list last year. I mean, Glass now and Pepio, and actually Pepio really never got over his oblique injury until later in the season, he was supposed to be in the Dodgers rotation a year ago. So now the Rays are seeing what the Dodgers saw in this guy, and hopefully it can continue, and he'll be a big part of that rotation if uh, he stays healthy and can pitch like he pitched today for most of the season. Well, health is a concern with him, and so is youth, because I think there will be instances throughout the season, it's a very long season as we know, peaks and valleys, especially when it comes to Younger pitchers like Ryan Pepio. There'll be some outings where, like today, he's got dominant stuff. He's a guy who with high upside talent who'll be able to strike guys out, who's going to be able to, you know, miss some barrels of the bat. And then there will be some outings where he's not going to have most of that stuff, where he doesn't pitch inside. And that's usually the biggest key and the biggest hurdle for young uh, pitchers to have to overcome is the ability to pitch inside you have to be able to pitch inside if you're going to be successful in major league baseball because you know these guys are just too good you leave anything out over the plate and it's curtain so it was great to see Pepio do his thing and it was great to see Brandon Lau do his thing two really positive developments today from the Rays at the Trop against the Tigers so watching the Rays today in that final exhibition game, I think we get a feel for what that uh, pitching rotation could look like. They haven't announced what the rope... Oh, by the way, uh, Jake Odorizzi did 
pitch in the game today. Yes, sir. It was doing all right until he gave up a three-run home. I didn't know Chris Myers, the Fox Sportscaster, I didn't know he played baseball. No, no. no <laughs> he hit a three-run home run off Order Rizzi, man. Well, and look, Jake is still trying to find himself there a little bit. They signed him to a minor league deal, and there could be a spot. By the way, Shane Boz was placed on the DL along with Taj Bradley by the Rays, that according to Mark Topkin, and maybe... Yeah, not going to get into that at all. Well, I understand that, Shane, but hopefully uh, we can hear from you sooner rather than later because I think the Rays are going to need him at some point. But the way the rotation is going to shake out, it's going to be Eflin, Savali, and then Littell, and then Pepio, and then Tyler Alexander is going to be the fifth guy, and that was announced yesterday, the lefty. Yeah, and I'm not surprised by that when we talked about uh, who the possibilities were. He was the only lefty that was vying for a starting position, and since the Rays don't have any left-handed starters, I thought there was a pretty good chance if he pitched well and did what he's supposed to do this spring that he could find himself on the back end of that rotation to begin the season. It looks like that's the way that's going to go with the announcement from Topkin or from the Rays via Topkin yesterday. And Jacob Waggispack will be out of the bullpen. He has made the roster, but he does have the ability to start as well. So there you have it with your Rays. Opening day is Thursday. We can hardly wait, of course. <laughs> we are your home for Rays baseball. That is WDAE. Did you see how far Yandy's home run went today? 427 feet. Left the bat at 110.4 miles an hour. I think he's ready for <laughs> yeah. opening day. Uh, Yandy Diaz, one of the best. All right. Uh, speaking of one of the best, my guys over at Catania, Catania, they're one of the best out there when it comes to personal injury law firms that gets you the results. So if you've been involved in an injury accident, you need to call them because they will get you the results you're looking for. They work on a contingency, which means there's no cost to you unless they win. And they've been doing plenty of winning. $500 million plus has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So give them a call. Tell them I sent you. Protect your rights. Katani Catania. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, nine attorney spokesman. All right, we will get to your phone calls. Wise guy waiting on line two. Also on the way back, which USF coach could be on the verge of leaving the program? It's not who you think it is. I've got the details next. Welcome and happy opening day to everyone. The Texas Rangers for the first time. Series champion Texas Rangers welcome Cody Bellinger and the Chicago Cubs. Coverage begins Thursday, immediately following Rays Baseball on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. WDAE traffic update. Crashed in Tampa, blocking at least one lane on eastbound MLK near the Hillsborough River and traffic slow from before Armenia. Also, we're seeing delays on northbound 275 from State Road 60 to downtown Tampa. Earlier, fire department activity in St. Petersburg on southbound 275 before the Skyway Bridge. They were blocking one lane. That, that sense cleared up. Traffic getting back up to speed south of the toll plaza, but traffic slow from before 54th Avenue South. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Try the New Limited Edition Orange Dreamsicle Frosty at Wendy's. Try the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty at Wendy's. It's like walking down recent memory lane. To have Orange Dreamsicle Frosty in our timeline is truly something special. And we shouldn't let the moment pass us by. And be quick, it's only available for a limited time. What sets International Diamond Center apart from those big box jewelry chain stores? The problem with big chain stores is that they're all run by corporate. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. That means the people at the store level just plain don't care much. At IDC, you're not dealing with a bunch of retail clerks. You're working with a true jewelry professional who's not on commission and not beholden to a bunch of corporate dictated rules and policies. When you're in the big corporate world, everybody operates out of a manual or a big book of rules. At IDC, we don't have a manual telling our people how to deal with customers. We empower our people to take care of those customers in the way they would want to be taken care of. Get the respect, guidance, professionalism, and genuine care you deserve from from people who put you first. We tell them point blank, do whatever it takes to make the customer happy, period. International Diamond Center, locally owned, internationally connected. We want them to take care of you, protect you, and make it the best experience that you could possibly have. In Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota, and always at shopidc.com. 
Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Here's another remarkable success story from QC Kinetics. This one from Chad, who hurt his knee at the gym one day, and it just kept on hurting for months. From my high school football and wrestling days, I already had a little bit of damage in there, but this just sent it over the edge. Chad tried traditional treatments with no improvement when he turned to the non-surgical regenerative treatments at QC Kinetics. It was really fascinating how they did their work and the science behind it was very intriguing and it works. Extracting the cure out of my own body blew my mind. It's like I'm brand new again. It was fantastic. That's because the QC Kinetics natural biologic treatments use your body's own healing power to restore damaged tissue in your hips, shoulders, back, and knees, providing long-lasting relief. Now I'm back at the gym. I'm 100% feeling great. If you're tired of suffering with pain from our arthritis or injury call qc kinetics now for a free consultation call qc kinetics 813-305-3000 that's 813-305-3000 locations in bradenton st pete lakeland and brandon 813-305-3000 getting your biggest tax refund from jackson hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions jackson hue yeah jackson hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't you get your money back plus a hundred bucks jackson hue yeah Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin. And scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call one 888 admit This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then, Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Sunny, warm, and breezy this afternoon with a high of 83. And tonight, clouds roll in with mild temperatures, low 70 degrees. Tomorrow, morning clouds, then storms later with gusty winds, high 83 degrees. Pat and Aaron, every weekday morning at 6. Ronnie and t Kras now. You're locked on Tampa Bay Sports Radio, WDAE. I'm not one of those guys that's... You know, in a rush, you know, trying to get, I, I value people, you know. Um, yeah, money's important. It's great, all of that good stuff. But I value people. I value alignment. And the support that I've had here from day one from Michael Kelly, Lee Butler, President Law, Will Weatherford, Jay Stroman, Michael Griffin, all the, all the, all the uh, decision makers here has been incredible. I, and I feel I love the alignment here at USF. That's USF men's basketball coach Amir Abdul-Rahim. He was on with Jay Retcher yesterday talking about his future. A great one-year turnaround with the men's program. Set a school record, 25 victories. A victory in the NIT opening round over their rivals across I-4 in UCF at their place out of the Big 12. So that was certainly a big accomplishment. Now can USF keep AAR? Can they keep the football coach, Alex Golish, who, like AAR, went through an incredible first-year transformation of that football program. And the problem here is when you get a good coach here at USF, they don't stay very long because the big boys, the other power conferences, they're watching, they're observing, and when openings come up there, they come here and poach our coaches here at USF. And that's just the way that it is. But those two guys are being sought after. However, there's another coach, Ronnie, who could be on the verge of leaving. And it's not Alex Golish. It's not Amir Abdul-Rahim. It's Jose Fernandez, a women's basketball coach, who's been doing his thing for 24 years. And 
Look, I've known Jose a long time. I think he's one of the best women's basketball coaches in the country. And playing in a conference like the AAC, he's made the NCAA tournament nine times. He's won a WNIT championship. He's done a great job of recruiting not only here domestically, but he has gone overseas to places like Spain and Portugal, and he's plucked players from overseas to get them over at USF. So uh, there are r- reports, and I can confirm them. The University of Miami is interested in Jose Fernandez. I know Joey Knight had the article this morning. I can add to that by saying contact has been established. Jose is from the Miami area. He has a wealth of connections down there in terms of recruiting as well. So this would be a homecoming for him if he does get this job. And he goes to a bigger school, Ronnie, and a bigger conference with an opportunity to grow, not only make more money, but Jose's a competitive guy. He doesn't just want to make the tournament nine times as an eight or a nine seed. And if you win your opening round game, you play the number one seed in the next round, and then all of a sudden your season is over. He wants to play deep into the month of March and maybe compete for a national championship one day. Well, you can't fault the young man for wanting to better himself. And as you mentioned, he's been here for 24 years. Maybe he's taking this program as far as he can take it. He'll have better resources at the University of Miami. That's not a knock on USF. It's just the fact because Miami's in a Power Five, a Super Five conference. So that's the big difference right there. And you're going to have those conferences come calling when you have coaches that have success. That's Mike Kelly about that right now. He's got two new coaches uh, that people, I'm sure, are looking at and seeing what they continue to do. If they continue to do what they're doing at USF, people are going to be coming after those guys. Well, uh, Jose, and this is public record, he makes about 800000 a year. His buyout is $1 million. If Miami consumes the buyout and they offer a million or a little over a million. I can tell you right now, Jose Fernandez is going to Miami and that will be a done deal. If Miami steps up to the play financially with that package. So it's something that bears watching over the next few days. And look, I think that Jose has maxed out here at USF. I think he has taken that program about as far as he can possibly take them. And he might be looking at his next challenge or adventure, if you will. And Going back home to the University of Miami, I think, would make perfect sense. So I think there's a good chance this happens. If I had to place the odds, Ronnie, I would say it's better than 50-50 that this happens and he goes to Miami. Well, and again, you can't fault him for doing that, for trying to better himself. He's given all that he can give to USF at this point after 24 Uh, seasons. and, And Jose and I spoke last night, and we spoke for about 15 to 20 minutes about this and about a number of different things. So, look, it's always a great feeling to be wanted, too, by the way. Sure. And Jose's had opportunities in the past, by the way. This is not the first opportunity. You know, years ago, Florida was interested in him. Jose kind of said thanks, but no thanks. And there have been other programs that have expressed interest in Jose over the years. But this appears to be really legitimate. Miami wants him, and if they step up to the plate with the buyout and the kind of numbers that would be appealing to Jose and his family, then I think he's going to take the job. And, you know, I would miss him dearly, obviously. He'd be a four-hour drive down in South Florida. I know I can go down there to Freedom Town. You can show me around. But um, I, I think this would be a unique opportunity for him, and I think there's what? there's a chance that this happens. You ain't driving to Miami, man. You're Big Bucks Tom. You're flying down to Miami, bro. Well, I, I would prefer to fly down there because it's a 40-minute <laughs> flight. Exactly. I hate driving across Alligator Alley. That's such a nuisance to me, man. I would rather just get on a flight 40 minutes later, boom, I'm there. Driving is becoming an issue in the Sunshine State, unfortunately, and Interstate 4 is just uh, horrendous, as we all know. Uh, Speaking of horrendous, let's go to our phones, and I guess Sincerely Guy, who's been holding for like two hours, is on line two. What do you want? You freaking people. Great. Here we go. Decide to make a big decision. 
like this change starting Thursday and you don't even consult me? How long have we been working together now? I'm a little hurt. Well, listen, <laughs> hold, hold on a second. Oh, what, All right. what are you talking if, about? If, I'm a little hurt. I'm, you're, you're not a little anything, okay? First off, if, <laughs> if, if I need help, like consulting on when to throw on my trash, which is twice a week, you know, that's what we call you. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. No, 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 no. You insulted him a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you realize how much extra work this is going to be for me now? I have to heckle. I, or listen to you two separately <laughs> now. This is extra work for me. No, it's um, not, really, hey. because, you know, we're usually on, like, 3 to 7, so, you know, now the race season is here. I'll go from 3 to 5.30 and then ride it from 5.30. So we're basically going to be on the same time frame. It's just going to be separated. Oh, I guess I should have thought that through before I picked up the phone. Of, huh? of yeah. course not. What are you thinking? <laughs> now, are you coming down tomorrow actually, or, or what? Uh, I'm not welcome at the Hard Rock. There's There was an incident. Oh, um, we had a VIP uh, table fa- set up for you. Yeah, shocker. There was they're, an incident? Their, fa- their facial recognition software <laughs> might be set up. Oh, my that God. Happens. There's going to be a problem, so I'm not going to risk it. But, all right. Uh, I, I do have an absolute... I'm happy for you guys, all joking aside. It, we, we did have a good, what, 10-year run, mornings, and then... Afternoon, so I'm I'm happy for everybody. I really am. Cool beans, anyway, man. Thank got you. Got a brilliant sports take for you. Okay. Uh, and Quickly. congratulations to Ronnie. It sounds like you've been wanting this for a long time, Ronnie. I mean that sincerely. Um, on this new NFL rule, this kind of piggybacks my last brilliant phone call, where I even got a backhanded compliment from T. Kraz on the idiocy of the catch <laughs> rule. Do these window licking morons, low IQ on the rules committee, think through anything they do? Let me ask you a question. How do you tackle someone from behind now? How? It's impossible. You can't horse collar. You no. You can't trip them. You can't grab them around the race and drag them back. How do you tackle someone from behind in the NFL now? You grab them and, by the flag. Am I, am I missing something? No, it's, oh. it's, it's a big problem, sincerely, guy. We appreciate the phone call. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get out of here! Yeah, we're, we're done with you now. But that's... That's something that I talked about yesterday. It's I know a lot of the defensive players are up in arms, and they should be because how in the world do you bring somebody down to the ground? Because the game moves so fast, and you're going to try and grab somebody around the ankles? Is that what you're going to do? Because you can't grab them around the the waist and do the, the swivel. It's, it's the <laughs> swivel hip right. drop that, that they're going to outlaw, which is going to be a 15-yard penalty. Not the regular hip drop, but when you swivel your body and land on somebody's back legs, I think that's what the NFL is trying to, I don't know, referee or officiate out of the game. And I just think it's going to be impossible to do so. The game moves so fast. You're trying to get that guy down to the ground. However you have to do it, you got to do it. Indeed. I love the other rule, the change to the kickoff rule, because that is going to allow more kickoff returns, and that's what we've missed. Not even chances for kickoff returns, basically, the way it currently works, but now you'll have more kickoff returns. And, and for sure. I, I love kickoff returns. I think it's exciting. It was something that was adopted by the XFL. The NFL observed it. They liked it. They took it. Basically, the kicker is the only guy who's going to be standing at his own 35. You're going to have the entire... Uh, kick coverage team lining up at the opponent's 40-yard line, and then you're going to have the entire return team lining up at the 35-yard line, so they're going to be separated by five yards, and then the returner back deep, and nobody's allowed to move until the returner catches the ball or the ball bounces in front of him into the end zone, whatever the case may be, so it will allow for more returns. I think it's going to be exciting. About 22% of the kickoff returns were actually returned last year. So yeah, that's too few. Um, I, I, I like this idea. You know, I know a lot of people are afraid of change, but I think this will be a good one. All right. Two hours in the books coming up. Fill in the blank. The new kick return or the kickoff rule is blank. We're going to get into that. Plus, Def Leppard tickets, a four pack of race tickets. We got a lot coming up here on the show. Plus, Todd Bowles speaking from the owners meetings. What did he have to say? Uh, uh. Yeah, you got that right. You've spent your days looking for it. What you ask? J and Z. A show that tells it like it is. A show that isn't afraid to go against the grain. A show that has grit, honesty, and a whole lot of balls to it. Stop looking, because you found found the one-stop shop for all the news, rumor, and analysis on the box, bolts, rays, and everything you've been searching for. J and Z. Weekdays noon to 3 on 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming on the free iHeartRadio app. 
There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because we're independent. We're not registered with a broker dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Annuity guarantees are based on claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. DBA in Florida as Trajan Wealth Insurance Agency. Hey guys, it's time for those New Year's resolutions to hit the gym, but if you're over 40, you can't build muscle with low T. Test Testosterone is the primary hormone needed for building muscle, and if your testosterone is low, you'll be working twice as hard and getting nowhere. Get your testosterone tested at C4MH.com. Just $45 gets you lab test and medical exam, and C4MH.com only treats with pharmaceutical testosterone and never makes you pay for treatments in advance. C4MH.com. Hey guys, Jay Retcher here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Emily Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You gotta try their grilled wings and Ebor egg rolls. Fan favorites. And they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to topshelfsportslounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat in downtown Tampa? My answer always, Top Shelf Sports Lounge. We're recording this progressive commercial on a real boat to let people know that when you bundle your home, boat, and other vehicles... What was that, Flo? Progressive saves you money, Jamie. Why are we doing this on a boat? We were going for authenticity. We're going to the city? Authenticity. You mean Atlantic City? But we're not in the Atlantic. Are we? Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Save time and money with the PVC Fence in a Box from Fence Outlet. It comes with everything you need for an average backyard of 120 feet starting at 2260. Go to FenceOutlet.com today for more information and store locations. License numbers C10252 and C10803. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, March 26th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, March 26th, 813-219-1919. When something happens to your car, you might say, Well, that's just great. Oh, perfect. Awesome. How nice for me. But what you really need to say is, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there to help you file your claim. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Your home sold in 14 days. Guaranteed at DuncanDuo.com. Now, we tend not to think about now. We dream about tomorrow, relive yesterday. But right now in front of us is victory over cancer. Right now, cancer research funded by the V Foundation is leading to better treatments and saving lives. Victory over cancer is there for the taking by you because today's cancer research is tomorrow's victory. Learn more at V.org. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. 
Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. Where the most trusted voices in Tampa Bay sports call home. We are 620 WTAE St. Petersburg. 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224PE Brandon. Streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Listen for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free. Never sounded so good. So good. So good. So good. It's Tuesday. Get in here, we gotta go fast now. Come on, let's go, you guys. From Dade City to Carrollwood and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio, it's time for the best sports conversation on your ride home. Welcome to the Ronnie and T Crash Show. Afternoon drive. On 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. In all areas, I think we can get better with situational football, obviously. (laughs) Offense running the ball better, more efficiently. Defense got to be a lot better in two minute and third and long. Uh, Offense, we turned the ball over in some key situations. There's a ton of areas we can get better at that we'll continue to try to get better at and add to get better at. Ah, That's Todd Bowles speaking at the NFL owners meetings over in Orlando. He was talking this morning and he says, yes, even though we won this division, won a playoff game, there's a lot that we can approve upon. And he's right. Certainly kickstarting that run game, which has been 32nd dead last in the NFL in each of the last two years would certainly be something that you could approve upon. Hey, when you're last, that's that means there's only one way to go. And that would be up, baby. Up. <laughs> yeah, it can't get any worse, right? Well, we say never say could it possibly get worse because that's when it usually does. Well, it could get worse, just like this show. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Welcome back. It is hour number three. Ronnie and T. Kraz on your radio. It's 509 on your ride home. Great to have you with us. Chris Mathis also along for the ride. So this is a special day and a special show. It's our final show in studio. The grand finale The last hurrah, if you will, of Ronnie and T. Graz tomorrow at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We'll be broadcasting live from the L Bar from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. tomorrow. We invite all of you to come on down and bid farewell to us. We're not going anywhere, okay? We're just starting a new venture on Thursday for Ray's opening day, but it will be our final. I'm leaving. That's right. We're not leaving. We're not leaving. So um, we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for the final show. By the way, um, our market president, the big boss, Chris Sektig, just came in. And if you're watching on... When we say big boss, we, I mean, how tall is Chris? Well, he's about 6'7". Yeah. <laughs> but he, figuratively and literally, he's the big boss. And he stopped off to give us a going away present, which is a box of Fuente cigars, which is fantastic. Look at that. If you're watching on... It's a beautiful thing. Oh, gosh. This is great, dude. Can we put some of those to use tomorrow? I don't know. Can y- we? Yes. The answer right. is yes. Awesome. So, um, we're going to be smoking some cigars tomorrow. We're going to have a toast. It's going to be... Wait, let me see that huge. box real quick. Uh-oh. Hold that up to what the camera gonna, again. What, 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 what's the matter with oh, you? Oh, man. This? That's nice right there. It's it's fantastic. And if if you take a look, it's it's beautiful. What is that, like a case of, is that eight, ten? Uh, I think there are 25 in here. I, I don't know. I got to open I it up. I can almost hear Jason Light. I want yeah. one of those cigars. Oh, yes, Jason Light. We got plenty. Re-gifts right there. We, we got plenty. So uh, I think we got Jason Light's attention here. I mean, these are Fuentes. So these are Reserva. Oh, yeah, these are good, good cigars. I've had these before. Oh, I'm sorry. There are 10. There are 10, but these are the, these look like the grand Oh, yeah, this, these are the like the double Corona ones. Maybe if I can uh, open it Jason up. Jason White's probably going, I want one of those cigars Well, right listen, now. Y- y- listen, you want a cigar, all right, the price of doing business just went up. <laughs> oh. yeah, okay, and I love Jason Light, but come on. Y- I need to get a peek at the draft board. How about uh, that? Say that again. Yes, no, Jason Light. That ain't happening, play w- Why not? I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, you know uh. how many people, Ronnie, have entrusted me with privileged information over the years? Uh. You know how many stories that I've sat on that I could have 
gone public with? Yeah, I'm sure there's a few of those, but uh, the draft board, that's very secretive, man. Look, it's got the seal on it, too. These will remain in the Dominican Republic. Maybe Juan Franco made these cigars. Oh, no, come on. No, come come on, on, that's on, dude. That's you can't well, you gotta go well, he's got... No, no, no. Insulted he's got right. plenty of free time, and he's not playing baseball. I can tell you that. <laughs> I think he thinks we win. Uh, what? Yeah. What? Remember that old drop we had? Oh, I yeah. think we win. Yeah, I uh, think uh, yeah, he's he's not doing uh, any winning right now. Um. All right, let's open up this bad boy. There we go. Oh, the question is, yeah. can you Look smell how beautiful it? those are. How do they smell? Well, he's got to unwrap one. Yeah, unwrap one. Look at that. That's beautiful. Outstanding. A Turo Fuente? Is that what yeah, you said? Yeah, these yeah. are Fuentes. I mean, they have the factory right here, um, headquarters in Tampa. I know a lot of the guys over there. Um, awesome people that work over there. Why bore, man? Um, yes, these are the double Coronas. They call the double Chateau Fuente. So there you have them right here. Very sweet. Very nice. Th- uh, thank you, Chris Sektig, the big boss here at iHeart Media, for uh, dropping off these cigars. Oh, nice. Oh, and they are nice, Tyler Glass now. Very nice. All right. So <laughs> you smoking a couple of these tomorrow. Oh, look, they're different. What? Yeah, they're 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 Hemingway. There are two Hemingways. And then there's the double Chateau Fuente. This is the Hemingway right here. This is Oh nice. Yes. Nice. Th- this is nice. So there are four of the double chateaus. Then there's what's called this is the Magnum R fifty fours. These are a little bit smaller in size, but is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. <laughs> oh, and this is the Opus X, the Serie, the Siglo. These, these are. Fa- I've had these before. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm taking one of these. This is what I'm smoking tomorrow. <laughs> All right, you guys can fight it out for the rest of them, but Watch, there's, there's look. two of those, by the way. Thank you so much, Chris Sektig. This is awesome. Yeah, indeed. Why man. would people do this for us? Why? Oh, no. I don't know. You know, it's uh, going to be uh, shenanigans tomorrow. I'm sure we will uh, shenanigans have earned, right now. earned every one of the shenanigans that they've got plans for or planned for us tomorrow. I guarantee you that. Well, tomorrow, I think, is going to be a blank show. It's good. And it, <laughs> it, it, it is. And it starts at 3 o'clock from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We hope you guys can join us as well. Uh, let's go to Michael in New Smyrna Beach. Michael, welcome to the show. What's up, Michael? Hey, guys. Thank you for taking the call. Yeah. Hey, man, I just wanted to thank you guys for everything you've done for the area with your show and you, the knowledge and the entertainment you guys have put out there. You guys are both a class act, and I appreciate what you guys have done. Oh, thanks, Michael. That's awesome, buddy. Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you so thank much, you for Michael. listening. Yep, for sure. Oh, you're very welcome, and I, I wish you guys all the best on the new endeavor, and uh, I'll chime in every now and then when I, I think I've got something halfway decent to say. <laughs> I wish you guys all the best, and uh, talk to you all soon. Thanks, Michael. We're jacked up about it. We can tell you that for sure. Thank you, Michael. Really appreciate that, Michael, and over in beautiful New Smyrna Beach. So we're very much looking forward to our new ventures and our new challenges, which will begin on Thursday for Ray's opening day, and we hope that you guys can join us as well. So we'll begin a new chapter on Thursday, but before we do that, we're going to close this final chapter tomorrow, and There are plenty of surprises apparently in store for us tomorrow. Now, John Mamola is not letting the cat out of the bag, out of the bag, but apparently there are going to be surprise visitors. There's going to be some audio elements, surprise guests will be calling in, all that good stuff. You guys want a hint here? I can give you a little bit of a hint. No, you know what? That's okay. You sure? Ronnie? Well, all right, go ahead. What about you, Dom? Uh, I would Just like a, a hint. hint. Let's gonna, see. I would like a little taste. I would say at least four pretty big surprises. At least four. Four? So, at least wow. four, yeah. Our, uh, and, and whether that, I, I won't go into what that might be, but yeah, four surprises easily. Are snacks involved? Oh, come on, man. You already <laughs> know that. Anywhere I'm at, there's food, man. Well, I got you, buddy. There will be food tomorrow because we'll be at the Hard Rock. The L Bar is a great place to hang out. Yeah, if you've never been to the L Bar, you're in for a treat. Been there many times, and my good friend Alan McBrayer, you know, I had a couple of drinks with him last week, so we were talking about this endeavor, and hopefully Alan can be there tomorrow. He's been a near and dear friend of ours for many, many years, and he's awesome peeps. But it's a great place to have a drink and hang out. And then after the show, we're going to be... Settle, settling down for like it's almost like and it's so appropriate because 
you know, Easter is this week. I don't want to turn this into a, like a religious kind of chapter, but, you know, it's going to be like the Last Supper taking well, place, you know, you know <laughs> ahead I of in, Easter Sunday. I walk into work today, and there are Easter baskets all over the place and eggs all over the place. You and I got an egg and had a little gift in there for us. So, you know, I'm thinking, okay, you forget that Easter's early this year. Major League Baseball starts early this year, but Easter's coming up on Sunday, man. That's hard to believe. It is. So we have the you know, like the Last Supper tomorrow at the Council <laughs> come Oak. On, come on, man. It's and not then, the Last Supper. Yeah, and then, uh, you know. Well, well, we hope not. I'll, anyway. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Colin in Tampa. Colin, what's going on? What's up, fellas? How you guys doing? We're doing great. Great. Terrific. Great. Awesome. I just want to let you guys know, man, I appreciate all the hard work you guys have put in. I've been a long-time listener now. A, well, my dad started off 10 years ago, and, um, you know, I've been listening ever since. I've been religiously listening for, like, four or five years now. So uh, you guys are my all-time favorite show, of course. But I want to give you my, my top three favorite sound bites from the show. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. So I know, Steve, I, know Steve has, I know you're going to be using it Okay. later on, but my top three is – is uh, number three, I'll, I'll go with, uh, uh, that boy's a sucker. That, that, that's one of my all-time favorites. So so can I get a can I get a uh, replay of that, Chris Mathis, real quick? Uh, that, that's that been lost, apparently. That, we, we misplaced oh, no. that one. Yeah. yeah. I'll wear okay, that okay, one, okay, though. Number t- okay, number two has got to be the clown nose. Okay, I got it. Yeah, there you go. The clown horn. <laughs> All right. All right, number one's got to be Tom Brady's. Uh, all right, so uh, what's the question? Oh, so what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have fun with I those, man. Listen, boys, but I appreciate all the hard work you guys. And, uh, hey, look, and, uh, question for you, Colin, because you said your dad has been listening to DAE for many years. So how old are you? No, oh, I'm 21 right now. You're 21. 21. Wow. See, that's outstanding, yes, Chris. He's younger than yes, you. Sir. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I've, I- I've got a, I've got a, um, so, so a long time ago, probably longer than 10 years ago, I was, I was a young cat and me and my dad were at the forum and I remember Ronnie Lane was at the bottom floor and oh. my dad made me go and run up to Ronnie and was like, he's like, go up to Ronnie and yell, night train at the top of your lungs. I'm like, okay. So I go over there and I was yelling in front of like all these grown dudes and in suits and stuff. And, uh, so that's like a core memory for me was being in the forum. And I remember Ryan Lane sitting there. I'm like, oh, God, I got to go to all these guys and, <laughs> and embarrass myself. But I went ahead and did it for you guys. So, uh, well, we appreciate yeah, that. I've been listening for a long time. Thank, thank you, awesome. Colin. We really appreciate it. Let your dad know that we appreciate him as well. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir, I will. All Thank right, you that that's Colin. I yeah, I love right. I love the fact that we have people from all different backgrounds, young all ages. Colin is twenty one. We've got peeps in their thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, even seventies. We we ran into so many people at Oak and Stone last week that listen to the show religiously. We love everybody, regardless of age and background. It's awesome. But Colin, it comes from upbringing, as you like to say, Tom. His yeah. dad brought him up listening to our show and. Uh, the young man is still a big fan. He brought him up, like, what, at ele- age 11? He came up and said, hey, Night Train, Night Train. What did you say to him? Uh, get away from me. Uh. No, of course <laughs> not, man. Uh, De- Let's go to DeMario in Tampa. DeMario, what's yeah, going on? Hey. hey, hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. I have a few things to say. First, my dad definitely wants to say uh, good luck to both of you guys and the uh, adventures you guys are going to have solo. Um, I have a picture with me, both of you, and my dad at um, the Lightning game. Yes, up in the uh, up in the box. You remember? I okay. do. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome, <laughs> man. Yep, that was uh, before I was about to have another spinal uh, infusion. So I'm about oh. to go in for number five, unfortunately. Oh man, yes. oh, man. So, uh, God bless you. Yeah, yeah we're, we're praying for you. I think you guys did the great Steve. You know, great Steve Dumit. Yep. But um. You guys should uh, continue that up, what the last caller did, the funniest, uh, uh, I'm not sure what you call them, uh, but my, my two favorites was uh, Kevin Cash, even though you mother do everything I do. <laughs> even though you mother everything we do. There you go. <laughs> that and uh, get out of here. Oh. Uh, Come on, get out of here. <laughs> All right, now last thing I want to leave with is, uh, so was I right on Baker? What do you mean? What did you say about Baker? Was, was I right on Baker? 
You you were well, right. You gotta tell us what you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. I, I told you guys. Okay. You did. Right. You did tell us, Demario. We. <laughs> yeah, you, you are trying to it's stir it up. Th- <laughs> thank you, Demario. Best of luck to you, my friend. We appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Really. Uh, we will take really? more of your calls on the other side. We've got Def Leppard tickets coming your way in a matter of moments as well as fill in the blank. And we also have a four-pack of tickets because you guys are so great. Great listeners for so many years, almost 10 years here on DAE. A four-pack of tickets to see the Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays for Friday night's game over at the Trop. We're going to give that to you before we get out of here as well. Guys, whether it's an injury accident, product liability, medical malpractice, If you or someone you love has been the victim of these unfortunate circumstances, you need to retain the personal injury law firm that is Catania and Catania. They've been doing their thing more than 30 years. They work on a contingency, which means there's no cost to you unless they win. And they've been doing plenty of winning over the years. $500 million plus has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So protect your rights. Call them. And they're always standing by to take your call 24-7. 365 813-222-8545 or get a free evaluation of your case online at Catania and Catania.com. That's 813-222-8545. Over at Catania, Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not attorney spokesman. All right, coming up, Tommy and Captain Mike, you guys will be up first when we come back. Also, fill in the blank. The next USF coach to jump ship will be Blank. We'll answer that next. Live from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Tomorrow, join WDAE as we celebrate the grand finale of the Roddy and T-Crash show. The last hurrah. The last word. Literally. The final chapter of WDAE's dynamic duo. Going out with a bang. Starting at 3 p.m. on the radio home of the Roddy and T-Crash show since 2014. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Tampa Bay Sports Radio. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE. Traffic update. Southbound 275 jammed up in St. Pete from 22nd Avenue South to just before the Skyway Bridge. Crash in the left-hand lane just before the Fishing Pier and the rest area. Also a crash on northbound 19 near Alternate 19. Crash on northbound Veterans Expressway just north of Hillsboro. It's off to the left-hand side. One on eastbound Fowler Avenue near River Hills. And northbound 75 jammed up approaching Brandon. Crash in the center lane near State Road 60. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. At QC Kinetics, we have story after story of patients freed from agonizing pain through amazing regenerative treatments. But this one, well, it's special. My father, who is 70 years old, had both of his knees worn out. He went to an orthopedic surgeon who said you need both of your knees operated on. We can book you for next week. That's Dr. Daniel Zuckerman, medical director for QC Kinetics here in Tampa. Had him come to QC Kinetics. We treated both of his knees using our protocols with regenerative medicine. Within a few months, he was back to walking. A few months later, he was at the gym exercising three times a week. He can keep up with our three and a half year old little girl. No surgery, no complications. Complicated rehab or downtime. It's completely life changing for him. You have options too. Before they whisk you away to surgery, slow down. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. 813 305 3000. That's 813 305 3000. Locations in Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Brandon. 813 305 3000. You wouldn't know it, but most financial advisors are put in a box. I'm Jeff Jr. from Trajan Wealth, and I want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors. Most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell, and many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard. A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best, just suitable. 
Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audibel Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom made. Make an appointment for Audibel Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, March 26th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free this is over eight hundred dollars in value and today only for those who call in the next two minutes new patients will receive their first treatment completely free this is worth hundreds of dollars but call today and it's totally free call 813-219-1919 that's 813-219-1919 call bull oak now to qualify this offer ends today tuesday march 26th 813-219-1919 Revard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Revard Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Revard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC, we are professional grade. When something happens to your car, you might say, Well, that's just great. Oh, perfect. Awesome. How nice for me. But what you really need to say is, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there to help you file your claim. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Injured? Hire America's largest injury firm, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Sunny, warm, and breezy this afternoon with a high of 83. And tonight, clouds roll in with mild temperatures, low 70 degrees. Tomorrow, morning clouds, then storms later with gusty winds, high 83 degrees. This free port is sponsored by ExpressPros.com. Let Express Employment Professionals help you hire for contract or full-time jobs. Forget about posting jobs, sifting through resumes, and interviews with unqualified applicants. Go to ExpressPros.com to find the location near you. That's ExpressPros.com. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. 
presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. All I want to know if you got your popcorn ready. Home of the best box coverage. Play a game called fill in the blank. I kick around for you to listen and think. Fill in the blank. Yeah, man, you don't know what time it is, dog. It's time for fill in the blank. That's what time it is. Presented by my guys over at California Closets Tampa Bay. They are awesome, and so are you, all of our listeners. And here is the host with the most for the segment, our executive producer, Chris Mathis. All right, we don't play any game. Well, I guess we do play a game. Fill in the blank here on Tuesday, and we'll get right to it, Tom. The next USF head coach to jump ship will be blank. I think it's Jose Fernandez, and after talking to Jose last night, there is mutual interest between the University of Miami and Jose. And look, if you're USF, there's nothing you can do about it because Jose's been there for 24 years. I think... He has maxed out his potential here as a coach and as a program when it comes to USF women's basketball playing the AAC. Miami's home. It's the ACC. It's a bigger school with deeper pockets. I think it makes all the sense in the world. And look, there have been programs over the years that have expressed an interest in Jose, and he has resisted that temptation. University of Florida a few years ago were interested in him as well. So I think this is the job, Ronnie, that he will take. I think Jose is going to go to Miami, honestly. Tom, sometimes change is imminent. And, you know, all relationships, a lot of relationships run their course when it comes to sports and coaches and athletic departments and that sort of thing. And I think maybe this is one of those, one of those instances. And you cannot fault Jose from what who wouldn't want to go home to a school with the influence of the U, of the University of Miami. So it's a good move for him. It was a great run at USF, and it may be time for him to head home and see what he can do with a Power 5 school. Now, let's not, you know, mince words. He's not gone yet, but there is mutual interest. There's a buyout of $1 million. He makes about 800 Gs, so... If University of Miami wants him badly enough and they consume the buyout and pay him over a mil, I think the deal is done. Now, as we know, on Sunday, the USF men's basketball team had their season come to an end. The season for the Bulls this year was blank. Fantastic. It really was. Outstanding. You can use any adjective you want to, but none of us, no one, and someone would be lying if they told you they saw this coming. But AAR has done a tremendous job of turning this program around in one single season. I didn't even think that could be done, but he has done that, and hats off to him and USF. This season has been a renaissance because for many years, this men's program has laid dormant, and now the right coach with CEO type of skills has come in in year one, and he's completely transform this program and i hope he stays here for a long time but we'll see this year's ncaa tournament has been blank uh, honestly it's it's, yeah. it's been eh. i mean it's been okay it hasn't been great we've seen a couple of really good games we've seen a couple of upsets no monumental upsets so far you know i went through the bracket yesterday ronnie while you were out all number one seeds are alive. All number two seeds are alive. There are two, three seeds that are alive. So chances are at your workplace bracket or your pool, the secretary, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, Janet is probably leading the pool right now. Yeah, there's only one double digit seed alive for the Sweet 16, and that's North Carolina State. The rest is pretty much chalk, Tom. And I'm not going to say it's been boring. There, you know that first; those first two days are always very exciting, and we did see some nice upsets. But the rest of the tournament's probably going to go the way most expected to go, with the top teams making it to the Elite Eight. Everybody wants to know where your bracket is at right now as we approach the Sweet 16. Your bracket is blank. Are you professional or not? <laughs> um, my bracket is still alive, Ronnie. I've got three of the four. Final four teams still in there. I had Purdue beating UConn, obviously, in the title game, so I'm going to stick with that. It's okay. 
Yeah, most of my final four teams and both of the teams I picked to win championship, the overall championship, are still alive. So my bracket's all right. Let's talk now about your Tampa Bay Lightning. When talking about the Lightning and the team's MVP this season, if not Kucherov, then it's blank. If not Kucherov. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's blackjack Braden Point, Ronnie. And for the play that he has exhibited, especially of late, he's on fire in the month of March, and a lot of that is due to Kucherov setting him up. And that line between Point, Kucherov, and Declare is absolutely amazing right now. But Braden Point, who scored 51 goals from a year ago, he's got 40 right now. He's got a chance to push for another 50 this year. I don't think any question it's your boy Braden Point because of all the things you just mentioned. And, and no coincidence that the team started clicking about the same time he got hot. So here we go, man. Well, and he's also a great two-way player, too. He's really good defensively as well as being an offensive threat. Moving on now, continuing with uh, a little bit more into baseball and the Shohei Otani investigation. This investigation seems blank. It seems fishy to me, Ronnie, because, again, why would you allow this guy access to your bank accounts? Four and a half million, even if, for a guy who just signed a $700 million contract, four and a half million is not chump change, man. You know, my butler, okay, is not going to have access to my accounts. Why is this guy having access to Shoei Otani's accounts? This whole thing seems peculiar to me. Yeah, you know, and I saw excerpts from the press conference yesterday. He's got a he's got to face the music and answer questions from reporters because they would have a lot of the same questions that you and I have. How in the hell does this guy get access to your accounts to to move that kind of money around? Is that That's a problem? What people, yeah, that's a real problem. That's what people really want to know. So hopefully they will get to the bottom of it with the investigation. But he's got to have another press conference where he actually answers questions. Well, you know that's not going to happen because right now he's in the middle of what is a federal investigation into that illegal bookmaking operation, no Nick Nunzio or whatever, in Southern California where a lot of this money was going. So... His lawyer is going to tell him there's no way you're answering any questions right now because we're in the middle of this legal entanglement. The NFL has some rule changes heading into this 2024 season. Total leather right here on DAE. Your opinion on these rules changes are blank. I love the kickoff return rules because it's going to allow more opportunities for kickoffs, and I think that's what the game has missed. The game wants more action. I think they're going to get it with the new adjustment to the kickoff rules. I don't know how they cannot get it. What did you say, Tom? 22% were returned last season. That's too few. I think there needs to be more action there. That's why they're employing the XFL kickoff rules. So I like that. I like the fact that they're going to replay for roughing the passer calls. How many times did we watch a game and a quarterback gets hit and you're like, really, that's roughing the passer? That's a 15-yard penalty. That's a game changer. So I'm glad that they're going to get a chance to review those type of calls. The hip drop thing is very controversial, and it's very difficult to to kind of enforce that because you're talking about a bang-bang play, and a defender's job is to get the ball carrier down to the ground. However, you got to do it. You got to do it. So, I mean, are they going to count on the officials to do this or are they going to let them have some electronic help? Because this is just more work for the officials that are already tasked with making some incredible calls. And look, for a lot of these guys, and look, uh, I don't mean to be age shaming anybody, but a lot of these guys are older guys, Ronnie. And look, you've been on the sidelines. I've been on the sidelines. It's fast. It moves fast fast and furious and you have to make a you know a really quick decision on whether or not to throw that flag or not and it moves really fast maybe too fast for some of these reps that's why i'm saying they're going to have to have some help from technology to get this done well you need help (laughs) all right final fill in the blank for both of you guys your favorite def leopard song is blank Paul, some sugar on me, baby. That's mine, too. All right. All right. All right. That's a nice segue for what we got coming up next, guys. Uh Uh-oh. Yes, we do. (laughs) So, Def Leppard is coming to Camping World Stadium on July the 10th, along with Journey. Is that right? Yeah. No, that's right. Yeah. Unbelievable. What a great show that is. So, Chris Mathis, 
you give away the tickets. All right, guys. The first lister to give me a call, 888-546-4620, and tell me there are top three, top three Def Leppard songs in 10 seconds or less will get that pair of tickets for the concert on July 10th. And you're a Def Leppard expert, right? Oh, yeah, man. I know it all. I know yeah, he, it all, he, Ronnie he, Lane. He, he claims he knows something about that. <laughs> all, right. all right. Great job there, Chris Mathis. By the way, just want to let everybody know that fill in the blank presented by my guys over at California Closets of Tampa Bay. They did a great job with my garage. You can organize and upgrade your living space with my guys over at California Closets. Kenny is awesome. He's the owner. He's very passionate about what he does. They do great work, whether it's your garage, your closet, your pantry, your entertainment center. They do it all. Head on over to CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com for inspiration. So, while we get a winner there, let's go Captain Mike down at Big Pine Key. What's going on, Mike? How are you? I'm doing good. I just wanted to call all the way from the Florida Keys to say we're going to miss you guys together. Uh, I know you both aren't going anywhere, but I want you both to know that exactly every afternoon when we're coming in, we have your show. I put your show on the boat, and I've had more women say, I don't know who that night train is, but he's got a sexy voice. Oh, yeah. So wow. I want it right, right straight from the keys. So I said, be careful. Miss Bobby will come after you. So <laughs> you I go. just want to say, now I want to say thank you so very much for everything. I've been following WDA before it was WDA, Chris Thomas. Steve Dumick, been to all the all the things. I wish I could be with you guys tomorrow. I really do. My duty calls, and I got to take people fishing. So, God bless you both in your future endeavors. And we'll still have the radio on the boat. We won't be together, but uh, I will be following you both. Wow! Thank, thank, thank you, Captain. Mike. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate it down there Captain at Big Mike, Pine baby. Key. Yeah, that's great. That's Outstanding. Awesome. Uh, you guys are, yeah, it's going to be tough tomorrow, man. People with calls like that. It's tough right now, Yeah. to be quite get honest. On the phone for three hours. Let me <laughs> well, you know, how about you get on the phone, okay? You got another hour plus today, and then we got three hours tomorrow when we're live at the L Bar over at the Hard Rock. By the way, we got a winner, John in Seminole. Right, what what three songs were his favorite? Oh, wait. No, I'm just joking. Okay, let's see. He what? did pour some sugar on me. He said Armageddon it. Okay. And he also said Bringing on the Heartbreak. All right. All right. Bada all right. bing, bada boom. Photograph, Love Bites, bunch of songs. There man. you go. There he is, you know. Oh, there's a texture with the same thing. Look at Are that. Are you still spinning records, cowboy hat? <laughs> uh, yes, at all times. I even know who Teddy Swims is. <laughs> right, wait, he's at the hard rock tomorrow night. How about that? All right. Sold out show, man. Who who's the most popular act at the Hard Rock tomorrow? Is it Ronnie and T Kraz or, <laughs> or Teddy Swims? Or Teddy Swims? I think it's Teddy by a long shot, bro. It, it is? Yeah. Well, that's a shame. Uh eight 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 five four six four six twenty. That's the phone number. Uh more of your calls and texts coming up in a matter of moments. We've got what's on tonight also coming up in a matter of moments. And don't forget, a four pack of race tickets. If you didn't get the Def Leopard tickets, we got race tickets to give to you, too, and that is also coming up pretty soon. If the smell of pine tar turns you on more than your wife's perfume, then DAE is in your DNA. 95.3 WDAE at AM 620. WDAE. Traffic update. A wreck being cleared on eastbound Fowler Avenue near River Hills, one on westbound Hillsboro Avenue at 56th Street by and northbound eBay 19, Motors. north of eBay Highlands, Motors that one is in the here right for the ride line. with the part you need for the prices northbound. you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Guys, the weather outside is getting warmer. You want to be able to get out this spring and do the things that you want to do, but maybe your back or your knee or your shoulder is bothering you. That's when you have to pick up the phone and call my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, no downtime. Dr. Circuman and his team of professionals, they did a great job on my elbow a couple of years ago, and then they did my right knee a few months ago. I feel great, as will you guys. You need to get your life back, courtesy 
courtesy of my guys over at QC Kinetics. Pro athletes have been doing regenerative medicine for decades. It's a life-changing treatment that is now available to you. So you can get out there, walk, run, hit the beach, play some golf. QC Kinetics can help you do it with no pain pills, no risky surgery, all natural solution. Get your free consultation right now, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations including Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, 813-305-3000. Tell them t Crest sent you. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live crafts, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live crafts, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa. Located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call one 888 it. Did you know the most successful teams always have a game plan and they stick to it? So it makes sense, of course, to have a successful retirement. You've got to stick to it. You've got to prepare. And it's got to be a written strategy. Hi, this is Steve Holland. Call us here at the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors for your written retirement plan. 727-228-6449. That's 727-228-6449. If you want your windows there in weeks, pick up the phone and just text Reese. Last year, Andy won $15,000 in new impact windows from Reese Windows. Now it's time to do it again. Just text the word HAPPY right now to 20129. That's HAPPY to 20129. At Reese, they install most windows in just six weeks, and you might win them for free. Just pick up the phone and text HAPPY to 20129 to win $15,000 in new impact windows. That's HAPPY to 20129, and good luck from Reese Windows and Doors. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. There are any number of reasons you might consider selling your home. To move closer to family, live within a smaller budget, or just wanting a change of scenery. Whatever your reasons, having to figure out all the various housing market trends in your area may not be what you signed up for. That's where an agent who is a Realtor comes in. Realtors have the expertise to help you find the right price and navigate the process to sell your home in a way that's right for you. That's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Acrylast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo team with LPT Realty. We can guarantee you a successful real estate career that includes revenue sharing, LPT Realty stock shares, and no monthly fees, and we provide thousands of leads monthly at the Duncan Duo. Learn more at jointheduo.com. That's jointheduo.com. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. This report is sponsored by Try the New Limited Edition Orange Dreamsicle Frosty at Wendy's. Try the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty at Wendy's. It's like walking down recent memory lane. To have Orange Dreamsicle Frosty in our timeline is truly something special, and we shouldn't let the moment pass us by. And be quick, it's only available for a limited time. Sunny, warm, and breezy this afternoon with a high of 83, and tonight, clouds rolling with mild temperatures, low 70 degrees. Tomorrow, morning clouds, then storms later with gusty winds, high 83 degrees. Live and local, talking about your teams as only we can. This is WDAE on your radio and streaming live on the iHeartRadio app. Download it now. What's on tonight with the Ronnie and T-Crash Show? And it's brought to you by HowardTeamHomeLoans.com with our guy, Chris Mathis. All right, I know it's not March Madness or the Sweet 16, but... That's why they call it Match Martinus. That's right, Ronnie Lane. NIT Tournament UGA (laughs) Bulldogs take on the Ohio State Buckeyes at 7 o'clock on the four-letter network. 
Then the Los Angeles Lakers take on the Milwaukee Bucks at 7.30 on TNT. And then as always, right there on your smartphone, go download the free iHeartRadio app. Search up the Ronnie and T-Crash show here at Hour by Hour. If you missed a second hour, you want to go back after work, you can go do so tonight. Download that app. Search the Ronnie and T-Crash show. It's all right there. Looking good. I keep up the bad work. <laughs> what in the hell was that? Looking good. Keep up the bad work. That's from Scarface. All right, great job there, Chris That's Mathis. That's not you like mustard on my biscuits. Come on, man. Come on, dude. No, I'm serious. Is that is that it? No. Uh, oh, okay. no. It's Scarface. You, you, you tell me you've never seen Scarface. <laughs> yeah, before. I'm here to tell you I've never seen Scarface. Come on, before. Come on man. Dude. What really? is wrong with you? Listen, Say Matt, yeah, this man. movie trivia is going to be. An ongoing saga on the drive with T-Kraz because you haven't seen anything. Yeah, no, I haven't seen much of what you've seen, at least. Say hello to my... You're going to have to Come say on. hello to his little friends. These are iconic <laughs> movies. Well, These are funny. movies that you well, have I mean, to be up on. He's a bit younger than we are, so I, I understand. So? He hasn't seen that. Scarface, I don't even know what year that was. 1983, Ronnie. Well, that's before his time, for well, sure. Well, look, Just a, lot a, of these, a lot of these movies were before you were born, but... These are iconic movies. I mean, they impacted pop culture. They impacted the sports world, too. You know, a lot of people you love seen, that movie. Have you seen uh, Bench Warmers before? Bench Warmers? No, nah, man. That's, that, that's, on, that's, 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 that's for kids. Oh, man. What are you saying about me? I'm 25. <laughs> Yo, man. You're a kid. Come on, man. What's the matter with you? Someone just texted in from the 727 on the Bartow Ford <laughs> DA text platform. Who the hell has seen Scarface? Or hasn't has seen Scar Scarface. Well, I'm right here. Uh, Chris. Apparently uh, it's you. He's probably well, not you, the only one. You're you're going to have to watch Scarface now. I don't know if, uh, you if, if you're better if your better half likes, you know, there is some blood and there's some It's you a know, little gory. Oh, little... she's all into that, man. Okay, right, then more so then than I am, honestly. You're not gonna have a problem then. You can play Def Leopard in the background and watch Scarface. <laughs> okay, Ronnie. All right. You professional or not. <laughs> You better get professional on this show. What's the matter with you? All right, so uh, let's go back to the phones. Uh, Tommy is up in Detroit where the draft will take place next month. What's going on, Tommy? Tommy? You know, I'm never taking your call again because, you know, you're waiting on hold, and I go to you, and you're not there. He did the same thing yesterday. Come on. He's waiting for an hour and a half. I go to him, and he's not there. That's two strikes. He struck out a long time ago. It was like Dave Kingman. All right, let's go to Walter on, in Thedona, Sassa. Walter. Hey, how's it going, guys? Great. Great. Terrific. Great. Hey, I'm remembering when I was a senior in high school, they used to have the Curtis Hickson Hall down here. Yes, and I do remember that. There was a sportscaster from Channel 10 named Ken Brew. Yep. And he put on about 20 points against the Harlem Globetrotters playing for the Washington Generals. That's awesome. He put on a show, man. It Ken, was really cool. Ken Brew, he uh, he made it big, man. I forget which market he went to from here. Cincinnati. Cincy. Southern Ohio, Cincinnati. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Hey, one other thing. Uh, when I was a little bit younger than that, our high school orchestra went down to Coral Gables to the University of Miami. Yes. And we actually played the 1812 Overture down there. And we got straight superiors for sight reading and performance. Look that was you. probably one of the coolest things. Had to be, man. Appreciate you sharing it with us. Thank you, Walter. We appreciate that very much. James is in Tampa. Is up next. What's up, James? Hey, no, no, nothing much. How's how y'all doing? Great, terrific. <laughs> We're all favorite sound job, man. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, what's yeah, up? I just wanna, uh, yeah, I just want to. Yeah, I just want to wish y'all good luck on your new venture. It's kind of sad though, because I've been a fan y'all since the beginning. So it's unfortunate we won't be working together anymore. But I'm still going to be listening to both y'all. Thank you, sir. We Thank you. That. Thank you, James. We really appreciate it. And we'll, we'll still be here. We're not going to go anywhere. And the lineup will usually have yours truly with the drive with T. Kraz and then followed by Ronnie Lane with Inside Pitch. So we're still going to be a part of your everyday lives. We got Drew and Val Rico. And then we're going to break. What's going on, Drew? Hey, Tom and Ronnie. I want to thank you guys for the uh, watch party you did for the Rays game. 
And uh, Ronnie for showing me the door on my way out. And now I get to return the favor by saying, you know, congratulations on your next step. But I think in honor of Chris not seeing Scarface just like me, we should have a watch party at the studio for Scarface. (laughs) That's awesome. I love it. Thank you, Drew. appreciate you listening, Drew. Yep, we appreciate it. So, Drew... Uh, he said he was a 54-year-old who's never seen Scarface. Yeah, it makes me feel better about myself. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with you. Get those nerds! Nerds! What, what is going on? So <laughs> Come on, man. So Yeah, I, I got a text here in the Bartow 4 DA text line. Uh, used to watch Cars. Yes, I did. I used to watch Cars as a kid what? growing up. You know, Lightning McQueen. Okay. Oh. You guys have never seen that? No. Wow. You know, we used to watch cars. Like, you sit on a corner and watch cars go by. Oh, oh no. Come on, Come on. Man. What's the matter with you? You know, I pull into the station. Well, you want me to tell, you want me <laughs> yeah. to tell this story? You feel free, yeah. Quickly. Oh, quickly. Have at it. Real quick. So, um, every day, Chris Mathis seems to amaze me in some way, shape, or form. So, I pull in, gather my stuff. I get out of the car, and Chris Mathis pulls in at the exact same time in the adjacent parking space across from me. Hey, Tom. Hey. How you, hey. <laughs> so, you know, he's always very enthusiastic. Very upbeat, yes. yeah. Is that uncanny, the impression uh, there? No, that was, that was perfect. That was good, Tom. I'll give you that one. So, Chris Mathis, you know, he opens a car door and he's about to get out. All of a sudden, he reaches over and he's got this plate in his hand and on this plate are two sandwiches. Which he, I guess, you had on your passenger seat. Yes, that but, would be correct. But he pulls two sandwiches out that <laughs> that were on a plate. No, like, no zip covering, lock bag. no nothing, nothing. Wow! And I've never seen that before. So he's pulling two big sandwiches out with his. <laughs> he must have made them in traffic while he was in traffic. Uh, I don't know. He said Lily made him made yeah. it for you. Yes, that's correct. And I was in a rush. I had just left the gym. I came home. I got a quick shower. And we had a meeting at one o'clock today, Tom. Yes. Um, and I didn't think I was going to make it on time if I, you know, put it in a in a to go box or a container. So I just said, "All right, I'm going to keep it on the plate that she had the sandwiches on," and I just put them in the uh, the passenger seat. And I made sure to, you know, monitor them as I was driving down what, Olmerton. Was your production meeting productive? Because you, we both had production meetings today. Mine was pretty productive. It was productive. It yeah. was, yeah. But and I, I got to eat my sandwiches too, so it was a win win. Nice. I was dumped. Found it. I've never seen that before where a guy, you know, gets out of his car holding a plate with two big sandwiches on it that were uncovered, not in any yeah, container kinda, or Ziploc yeah. bag. Really? Yeah. Is that a big deal? You, yeah, yes, it is good, a big man. deal. You know, anything I, can I, happen. Is that a problem? Yes, it's a problem. It's it's a little askew. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, because you were worried about dust particles getting on my sandwich. Right? Yes, that's why you got to cover up your sandwich. Real quick here from the uh, 802 on the Bartow 4 DA text platform. Just wanted to say how much I've enjoyed listening to Ronnie and Tom for the past nine years. Discovered DAE on a trip to the Tampa area, Tampa area in 2015, mm-hmm. and I've been listening to the station ever since. Best sports station in America. What? A Tampa Bay sports fan who lives in Vermont. Are you professional or not? <laughs> That's awesome. That's unbelievable. So we appreciate that. Since 2015, he's been listening to us for nine long years. Boy. Boy, it's a lot of therapy sessions. All right, coming up, (laughs) one more hour to go. The Buccaneers are maybe a little offended. Maybe they're a little insulted. And we're going to let you know why on the other side. I'm talking about both Todd Bowles and Jason Light. What has them ticked? We're going to let you know next. Thursday, join WDAE as we welcome in a new day in Tampa Bay for your ride home. Buckle up. For the drive with t A fresh beginning for a new era of Tampa Bay sports conversation. Rays, Bucks, Bucks, Bolts, and more. more. Join us, punch the preset, and And lock lock in in for the debut of The Drive with t Live from Tropicana Field on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Looking forward to The Drive and the premiere on Thursday, live from the Trop at high noon. It's your guy t here for my guys over at Catania and Catania. So the bottom line is this, if you or love or someone you love has been involved in a car accident, a motorcycle accident or a truck accident, certainly it could be a stressful and traumatic time. 
That's why you need to retain the personal injury law firm that's been there and done that. Catania Catania has been working on these cases for more than 30 years in the Tampa Bay area with tremendous results. $500 million plus and counting has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. They work on a contingency, which means they don't get paid unless you get paid. Protect your rights. And oh, by the way, they're standing by to take your call 24-7, 365. A lot of law firms are not that easily accessible, but Catania and Catania are. Here's the number. Put it into your phone because you might need it one day. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at Catania and Catania.com. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, 930 spokesman. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduce stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, RIs and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, March 26th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, March 26th, 813-219-1919. The college basketball excitement has begun, and you could be on your way to see the championship game live on April 8th with Duffy Sports Grill's MVP Huge March Giveaway. Every visit now through March 31st will earn you an entry. The more you visit, the better your chances to win. So grab your MVP card and head over to Duffy's and enjoy their new courtside favorites. Award-winning certified Angus Beef Burger and two-for-one drinks all day, every day. And remember, at Duffy's, our game is always on. Ah, the sounds of baseball. But if you have hearing loss, you miss out on the action. Audible Hearing Centers provides a better quality of life for those suffering from hearing loss. Offering free hearing tests by trained specialists at their 26 locations. Don't buy hearing aids online. Get yours custom-made. Make an appointment for Audible Hearing Centers at floridahearing.com. Better hearing through professional care. Proud partner of the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm Ellie Anajar of Anajar and Levine. Injured in a car crash? Never rush to settle with insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anajar and Levine. Our experienced legal team will fight to win you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call me, Ellie Anajar, for a free consultation and take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC, one pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. We've been driving for six hours, and I haven't coughed once. You took Mucinex DM 12 Hour. It gives you 12 full hours of cough and chest congestion relief. So you got another six hours of me singing road trip songs. Yay. Buy Mucinex DM 12 Hour. 
Use as directed. Hi, I'm Benny Jr. with Bartow Ford. The college basketball playoffs have always been one of my favorite times of the sporting year. Why? It's a chance for a small town school to beat a perennial powerhouse. Bartow Ford has been that underdog, outselling big city dealerships every single day, every single year. We only do this by teamwork and taking care of our customers. It's just another way at Bartow Ford we're different and we prove it. When something happens to your kitchen and you say, This is ludicrous. You get having trouble? Don't panic. Don't be alarmed. You need to file a claim? Holla at State Farm. That's right. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. Get your most accurate home value estimate at DuncanDuo.com. Last season on the Choosing Sides F1 podcast, we established unequivocally that F1 is the pinnacle of motorsports. We did, but honestly, I was left with more questions than answers, Tony. I'm Tony Cameron Brown, a tech, culture, and F1 commentator. And I'm Michael Costa, comedian from The Daily Show. Join us for season two of Choosing Sides F1 and get all of the answers. All of them? All of them. Listen to Choosing Sides F1 on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anajar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. This is Tampa Bay's home for the best bolts coverage all season long. We are 620 WTAE St. Petersburg, 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park, 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater, 96.7 FM W224BE Brandon. Streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Listen for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free never sounded so good. It's Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go fast now. Come on, let's go, you guys. From Newport Ritchie to Sapper Hills and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. It's time for the best sports conversation on your ride home. Welcome to the Ronnie and T Crash Show. Afternoon drive. On 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Well, there's always always little things. There's, there's ah. still the grasp of the offense. Obviously, from Dave to Liam calling plays, you have to get a better feel. Even though they've been together, they haven't been together like this, starting from scratch for a full year. Uh, just take command of the offense and making the adjustments. And He did that last year, but there's still some nuances we can get better at, and he'll be the first to tell you that. That is Buccaneer head coach Todd Bowles speaking about his quarterback, Baker Mayfield, who had a great year last year, got rewarded with that three-year deal. What can he do better in 2024? And sliding and going out of bounds, I think (laughs) that would be my number one piece of advice to Baker Mayfield. Not that he would be listening to anything that I would say anyways, but I think that would be the number one thing that Baker needs to do this coming season. Welcome back. Good evening, everyone. Tampa Bay. It is Ronnie and Tkraz, our final in-studio show. It is 6.09 on your ride home. Our final show of Ronnie and Tkraz coming your way tomorrow, live from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We'll be live at the L Bar from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. A lot of surprises. Our final farewell, the last hurrah, final toast, however you want to put it. And we hope you guys can join us tomorrow from the L Bar over at the Hard Rock. And then, of course, Thursday, it is opening day where our new ventures will uh, begin. And we're all jacked up about it. And really, we appreciate the outpouring of support from you, the listeners, the Texts keep rolling in. The phone calls keep coming in. And I'm sure tomorrow's going to get a little emotional for both of us and all of you. Because uh, we are finishing up the Ronnie and T-Crash show tomorrow. 
at one of our favorite joints, the El Bar, at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Those people have been great to me and Tom throughout this. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why we're doing our last show there and inviting all of you to join us. It's going to be fun. We'll have a lot of fun tomorrow. We will, and there are some surprises in store for us, none of which we are privy to. So surprise guests, surprise elements, surprises all together. What in the hell? So <laughs> you guys are going to have to tune in or come on down and find out exactly what John Mamola and company have in store for us. Yeah, Indeed. I know the audience is really going to love these surprises as well, not just okay. you two. All right, great. Uh, and but, me yeah. too. I'm going to love it you, too. I'm excited. Too? Oh, yeah. No, uh, this is going to be exciting. To piggyback off what you were saying about Baker Mayfield, I think a lot of what Baker did last season was, you know, he was in – somewhat of desperation mode to continue his career as a starting quarterback in the National Football League, and I think he took some chances, some unnecessary chances. Stir shit up. No, Baker, I'm not, but <laughs> you are just an animal, and we love that about you. People love that about you. Your teammates love that about you. Buccaneers fans love that about you. Uh, your heart and your desire. The guy, I picked him up, and, you know, I pegged him as a winner when he was at the University of Oklahoma because – you know, how closely I follow Tennessee football, and he played two tremendous games against the University of Tennessee when he was at Oklahoma. And just his whole story, man, being a walk-on and that sort of thing and winning the Heisman, making it to the NFL against all odds, it's, uh, it's just an incredible story. He's had an up-and-down NFL career, but hopefully he has refound himself here with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I know the Bucs are crazy about him. And we'll see how it goes in year two of his venture here with Tampa Bay. But he certainly revitalized himself as a starting quarterback in the National Football League. And that's the task he was chosen to do. And he did that on a one-year proven prove it deal. I mean, he bet on himself and he won big time, Tom. He did. And he was a big underdog coming here. I didn't think it was a great fit. Obviously, I was wrong. He came here and he exhibited the type of toughness, leadership ability, that really endeared himself to fans, coaches, players, and this entire Tampa Bay area. So um, he was justifiably so rewarded with that three-year deal, you know, $50 million guaranteed, and he deserves it because of how he played last year. It was the best year of his career, and maybe, hopefully, he gets to carry it over into 2024, and that leads us to this. Even though the Buccaneers won this division for the third straight year, they are still considered the underdogs because it's the Atlanta Falcons with Kirk Cousins aboard who are the favorites to win this division. They have an over-under win total of 10.5, which is a huge number for the Falcons. Very big. Especially with them changing quarterbacks. Now, they did get Kirk Cousins, who's a very good he's quarterback. He's not a top-five quarterback. I don't even think he's a top-10, but... He certainly. Uh, he's a the, bum. No, 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 no. He's one of the top 15 quarterbacks in the National Football League. He's, but he's coming off an Achilles, man, at age 36. He's so. somewhere between 10 and 13, Ronnie. Yeah. And look, the last two years, up until his Achilles injury, the Vikings were 17 and 8 in games started by Kirk Cousins. So he's a good quarterback. He's certainly been more consistent than Baker. That's why a lot of odds makers, especially the Vegas wise guys had the Falcons as the favorite because they like the 2019 bucks who went seven and nine. They were just missing that one element and that's quarterback. Now I'm not going to sit here and say that the Falcons are going to go to the Super Bowl now that they have their quarterback, but I think they're going to be a much better team and the quarterback position held them back last year. Desmond Ritter, was awful. He's a bum. He was he wasn't a bum, but he wasn't very good. And then they traded him out of town. They traded him to Arizona, and in return, Ronnie, they got Rondell Moore, a guy who can stretch the field. They also signed Darnell Mooney, another guy who's a field stretcher too, who can take the top off the defense. With Drake London on the other side, Kyle Pitts is the tight end. Bajad Robinson, an electrifying running back who was underutilized last year. A very good offensive line and a defense that's. Very good with Raheem Morris, now the head coach. They get a pass rusher, Ronnie, and they pick number eight overall. They may very well have Dallas Turner end up in their laps, and, and then away they go. So a lot of people have Atlanta as the favorites with the Buccaneers now being the underdogs. And Jason Light said over at the NFL owners' meetings, and here's the quote, 
That's fine with me. I like being the underdog. This team likes being in the underdog. I like keeping receipts, unquote, which I knew already. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, you might have to share that story uh, tomorrow. Say that again. But at any rate, uh, the Falcons are the favorite, and I don't think anybody's super surprised by that. People keep doubting the Bucks, and we'll see how they play. But, you know, they can use that as a rallying cry. Yeah, it you know. will be motivation. Yes, they, absolutely. They relish that role. Baker Mayfield relishes that role. You know who else relishes that role? Todd Bowles, who made an interesting reference today over at the owners meetings. Here's Todd Bowles on the Bucks being an underdog. Schnell. Oh, of course, as soon as I go to hit play, the Wi-Fi freezes up on me. Hang that's on a, just a yeah. second. That's that's only fitting. Talk about respect. Aretha Franklin's probably the only one that gets respect. <laughs> Everybody else kind of just go with the flow. We're not trying to win the offseason. We're trying to win the season. So our focus will be the same. It feels a lot of us. It feels a lot of the players. And we get ready to come back and try to defend our title like we did just yeah. All, all right. All right. Okay. A lot of people have won the off season. Then what happens when the real season begins? Well, I can tell you, you know, growing up as a Jets fan, you know, like they always won free agency and it never works. Yeah, you know, the, exactly. te the team that wins in March is not the team that wins in January and February usually. So uh, the Bucks are fine with that. They will take that underdog role. They will run with it. They enjoy it. They're galvanized by it. And Look, if everyone wants to anoint the Falcons as the favorites, that's that's fine by us. That's fine by Todd Bowles, Jason Line, and Baker Mayfield. They're okay with that. It is what it is, is the old saying that I sometimes just despise. Oof. But in this in this instance, it is. You got both of your teams being a little bit underrated here, uh, both the, the Bucks and the Rays, as the Rays season is about to start. And the Rays we, suck, man. Oh, come on, dog. That's not true. Uh, we'll... <laughs> We'll have more on the Rays in a moment. Plus, don't forget, at the bottom of the hour, we got a four-pack of Rays tickets for Friday night's game against the Jays. Um, but back to the Bucks, Tom. Uh, I think to a man, you're right. I think this will galvanize them that the folks in Vegas don't think they're good enough to win the division for a fourth straight year. I'll say this. All right. I think 10-and-a-half is way too high on the Falcons. And they won seven games last year. If you're betting the over, that means you think that Kirk Cousins is worth four more victories. I don't think he's that big of an impact type of quarterback. He's not a franchise guy. He's not a top five guy. Again, he's outside of the top ten. Is he a leader? Yes. Is he consistent? Yes. Is he a solid quarterback? Yes. But he's not a guy, when you look at the Falcons, at seven wins from a year ago, and now they're projected at ten and a half as the over-under if you're betting the over, then you think Kirk Cousins is worth another four victories. I don't believe that's the case. I and, don't. And also, Tom, to add to that, Raheem Morris, his last interim head coaching role was back in 2020. He went four and seven. And no disrespect to him, but how much do you think he's worth here in year one? Well, I saw a bet online AG thing about who could be coach of the year this year, and I think he had the and, best and, odds, and right, I, Raheem? I, I like Raheem Morris, and I think 15 years after the fact, he gets another opportunity to be a full-time head coach, and here's a guy who's adept at both sides of the ball. As a defensive guy, don't forget he was an offensive assistant with the Falcons a few years ago. He endeared himself to the Falcons' brain trust. That's why they decided to go with him over the old curmudgeon in Bill <laughs> Belichick. I mean, they wanted to go with the young, upstart guy, the guy who might have a little more high upset now. To be fair... There was a lot of politics that took place, too, as to why Bill Belichick wasn't higher. Because if he would have been higher than a lot of the guys like Rich McCain, Terry Fontenot, two higher ups in that organization, they would have gotten blown out. Those guys went to Arthur Blank and said, look, man, if you bring in this guy, Belichick, first off, we saw what he was like without a quarterback. He stinks. His drafting stinks. Look at what the Patriots have done in the draft. I guarantee you that's a conversation that took place between yeah. Rich McKay and Terry Fontenot and Arthur Blank. Let's go get this Raheem Morris who has paid his dues. He is ready to be a head coach again 15 years after the fact. He was just 32 years old when the Bucks hired him back in 2009. Now guess what? He's 47, and he's older, he's wiser, he's learned a lot of new things. One thing that is definitely a thing when it comes to 
football, when it comes to life, broadcasting, you're never too old to learn new things. And you're never too old to, you know, learn something new and mature and be a better person than you were from the day before. So I think Raheem Morris is ready for that challenge. I thought that was a solid hire. I thought they were going to hire Bill Belichick. But when you heard the stories that came out after the fact, you certainly understand why they wouldn't hire him. Because, look, he's in his 70s, dude. All he's looking for is Don Shula's coaching record. That's all he cares about. And uh, that's why he's not in Atlanta. And, and, yeah, I think Atlanta made the right choice, too, going with Raheem. He's coached in Atlanta before as well, and he's certainly learned a lot since those days 15 years ago when he was the coach here with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Might have been a little before his time for him to take that type of responsibility on, but I think he's learned over the years what it takes to be uh, a successful coach in this league, and I'm glad he's got that second opportunity with Atlanta. I think those Bucks Falcons games are going to be must see TV. I mean, you got Todd Bowles against Raheem Morris, you got Baker Mayfield against Kirk Cousins. Let's tee it up, man. May the best team win. All right, your calls and texts coming up. Four pack of race tickets also coming up, so stand by for that. Guys, whether it's an injury accident, product liability, medical malpractice, if you've been wronged as a result of somebody else's negligence, get on the phone. Call my guys over at Catania Catania. They've been there and done that over three decades here in the Tampa Bay area. They don't get paid unless you get paid. A half a billion dollars has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you over the years. So they know what they're doing. They're tough. They're tenacious. They're experienced. They get the results. They're Catania and Catania. Protect your rights. Call them. Tell them I sent you. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online. Get a free evaluation of your case at CataniaandCatania.com. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not attorney spokesman. All right, coming up. Stand by, Rays fans. Your opportunity to win a four-pack of race tickets to the game on Friday night against Toronto. That can be yours in a matter of moments. Speaking of the Rays, the final spring training game today, two, actually three big positives. We'll give you three takeaways from that game today as the Rays get set for opening day next. The Pat and Aaron Show. The show of the people. Raw and unapologetic. Aaron, I don't know about you, but when I think about Steven Stamkos, I think about guys like Mike Evans. I think about guys that I just, I can't see play in another uniform, man. I can't either. It will be very interesting to see if a cup chance means more than legacy for Stammer. Beat your need for bolts. The Pat and Aaron Show. Morning starting at 6 on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. WDAE traffic update. Tough ride in St. Pete towards the Skyway. Southbound 275 jammed up from just south of Tropicana Field to just before the Skyway Bridge itself crashed in the left-hand lane there. Also, we're seeing delays in Tampa. Northbound 275 from the hump on the Howard Franklin Bridge to I-4. Eastbound I-4 slow near I-75. Crash being cleared on eastbound Fowler Avenue near River Hills. Northbound 19 near Alderman. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by eBay Motors. eBay Motors is here for the ride with the parts you need for the prices you want. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, March 26th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, March 26th, 813-219-1919. 
It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-MINUTE. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contest out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up until the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today to stay updated on all the action. Bet Online. The game starts here. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. From the Cool Today Weather Center, CoolToday.com. Sunny, warm, and breezy this afternoon with a high of 83. And tonight, clouds roll in with mild temperatures, low 70 degrees. Tomorrow, morning clouds, then storms later with gusty winds, high 83 degrees. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Powered through your spring at Lowe's with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Buy one select string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56V battery free. Valid through 4-3. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio 95.3 WDAE and AM620, home of the best Bolts coverage. Well, yeah, listen, I, I just can't wait to see how he continues to progress as a defender um, and, and getting more comfortable at the major league level. You know, it's not easy be, being a young guy and being asked to, you know, to cover, you know, different positions. And I, I know that he's putting his work in behind the scenes, but to see how he continues to develop defensively because we know he has the hit tool. That's Brian Anderson, race TV analyst. He joined me yesterday, and he was talking about Curtis Mead, one of the bright prospects in the Rays organization. He had a great spring. He's got a great bat. If his defense comes around, he could be an everyday player as the Rays will be leaning on him beginning on Thursday when the Rays open their season against the Toronto Blue Jays. We are your home for Rays baseball right here on WDAE. Also... We're streaming Rays games through the iHeartRadio app right here in the Tampa Bay area. So don't forget about that. Rays games through the iHeartRadio app as long as you are in the Tampa Bay region. Welcome back. Ronnie and T-Kraz on your radio at 630 on your ride home. Great to have you with us. So we're all excited about the Rays. And speaking of which, Ronnie, they played their final spring training game mm-hmm. over at the Trop against the Detroit Tigers without uh, your boy Miguel Cabrera. He's gone, and we could have do nothing about it. <laughs> yeah. So they played to a 3-3 tie. Nobody cares about that. What I do care about are three guys that really stepped forward today, and it appears to be they're ready to go. Yandy Diaz, who led the American League last year in hitting, Hit a home run today. He caps off a spring, Ronnie, in which he hit 317. His on-base percentage was damn near 350. This is one of the best leadoff hitters in all of baseball, and he appears to be in regular season form. Love me some Yandy Diaz. Uh, that fourth home run of the spring, he is ready to go. He never went below 300 all of last season as far as his batting average con- is concerned. And he added power to that batting average so he's got all the tools great leadoff guy like you said i mean he doesn't look like your typical leadoff guy i mean he's not gonna steal bases 
But this guy knows how to get on base. His on-base percentage is up there. He knows how to take walks. He knows how to work the count. And he doesn't strike out a lot for a guy that is that big and strong, man. He's just an amazing player, and the Rays are very fortunate to have him in that lineup. They are, and the guy who hits right behind them hit a home run today to right field. It was a long, loud home run, according to Mark Topkin, who was there, and that's Brandon Lau. And he might be the biggest X factor with this race team this season. If Brandon Lau plays 120 to 130 games, he's going to hit 25-plus home runs. There's no question. It's his health. That's the biggest thing, whether it's his back or he's fouling a ball off his knee, which ended his season from a year ago. Here's a guy who has to stay upright. He knows that Curtis Mead and Ahmad Rosario and all these other guys, exactly. Ronnie, they are stepping forward. And I think that's giving Brandon Lau a little bit of a jolt this spring, saying, okay, uh, I make a lot of money. This team could dump me because there's a younger, cheaper version maybe behind me and some of these other slapdick prospects. So I need to turn it up a notch or two. So slap dick prospects. Without question. So Brandon Lau hitting that home run today. That was big. I know he didn't hit really well, just one thirty five this spring, but I think the last couple of weeks of spring training, I think he's starting to get his timing down. He is very big. While you were out yesterday, Ronnie, I outlined two guys that are crucial to the race success this year. One is Brandon Lau, position player, and the other guy, of course, is Zach Eflin, who is now your ace. He's got to stay upright. He's got to start 30 games. He's got to win 15, 16, 17 games if the Rays are going to make it back to the postseason. Would agree with that, but also agree that uh, the numbers that Yandy Diaz put up last season, he's got to duplicate those this season because he is the table setter at the top of that lineup, and as he goes, that offense goes, and I think Yandy is an extremely important player to what they want to do offensively and to get that offense jump-started. Obviously, there are others that we're counting on. Randy Arozarena would be another one. With his rebuilt upper body, Tom, how much is that going to affect his overall swing and his batting average? Hopefully, not much, and hopefully Randy's going to be able to drive home or hit at least 25 to 30 home runs this season. I know he'd like to get he'd like to become a 30-30 guy, steal 30 bases well, and hit 30 home runs. He, well, he he's making 8.1 million after the arbitration case in the offseason. So he understands that hitting home runs is going to be his big ticket to a big money deal. Scott Boris is his agent. He hit 150 this spring. And he had a two-week spurt there where he was hitting home runs at an electric pace. Actually, it was like a one-week spurt. It was like two weeks ago. Right. But he's a guy who was obviously very critical to their success. But the three big takeaways for me today was Yandy Diaz, home run. He looks outstanding. I think he's steady. I'm not worried about him at all. Brandon Lau is a guy they have to keep upright for 130-plus games. If they do so, he can hit 27 to 30 home runs. The other big takeaway today was that Ryan Pepio, the young, strapping right-hander that they got in the Tyler Glass now trade, he was great today. Six innings, two hits, no runs, one walk, eight strikeouts. Oh, nice. He, he, that is nice. You know, <laughs> and Ryan Pepio, Ronnie, he's going to be counted on. He's the number four starter right now behind Eflin, Savali, Latell, and then it's Pepio, then it's Tyler Alexander, the lefty, who won the number five spot. Yeah, you count, I, and you're correct. Uh, Eflin has to be big again this season. I think as far as the starters go, it's got to be Aaron Savali <laughs> because he would tell you himself he was a little disappointed in what he did after being acquired from the Guardians at the trade deadline, he needs to get off or you know, get off to a solid start in order to keep the Rays afloat atop this very competitive American League East. We know the Orioles are the favorites, and rightly so. Although some folks think the Yankees are going to supplant the Orioles at the top of the division. The I'm New not, York Yankees? <laughs> the New York Yankees! Uh, I'm not one of those guys. I think no, that, not, uh, not without Garrett Cole for like no, two months. Man, how can that possibly no. be? So I think Toronto is a team to keep an eye on uh, because of their pitching and their offense. And it's just fantastic that the Rays are going to start the season with the Jays and the Rangers. We're going to find out what the Rays are made of real fast, dude, with those two teams. Of course, the Rangers are the defending World Series champs, as we all know, because their drive started right here 
in Tampa Bay a year ago. It sure did. I'll never forget game one, which was an absolute nightmare. The four errors. I mean, that was the worst game that the Rays have ever played in their lives, I think. We all left the trop just shaking our head going, what the hell did we just, what the hell did we just see? I'll tell you what. You know what? I I walked out of the trop thinking. The Rays suck, man. (laughs) You did not think that, but it felt that way. They were awful. And they never recover from that. Game two didn't go well, and credit the Rangers because they put it to them, and Jordan Montgomery was fantastic. By the way, it's really baffling to me that here we are, you yeah. know, 48 hours before the season begins, and Jordan Montgomery's still unsigned. I mean, that's unbelievable. That's a frontline starter that's still walking the streets. That would be like, I don't know, like in the NFL, like. Micah Parsons is still, like, unsigned or something. I look for him to get signed tomorrow by somebody, dude. Somebody's got to go get him. Uh, I would think the Red Sox would be a great fit because they lost Lucas Giolito. Maybe the Yankees would be somewhat interested. I don't know because, well, they again, swung and missed it. What's his name, right? At Snail. Well, they did, but, you know, they pulled out of that sweepstakes once Scott Boris was asking for a ton of money, and Blake Snell ended up going to the Giants for two years and $62 million. But with Garrett Cole, month to month, I would figure they can use another arm in that rotation. Carlos Radon, can he stay healthy? They got Nesta Cortez, and they signed Marcus Stroman, too. So the Yankees are hoping those three guys can somehow keep it together until Garrett Cole gets back, when and if that happens. When and if that happens. By the way, they've got new turf again this season for the Rays. We're all looking forward to seeing that. Tom, have you seen Topper just actually tweeted out something about it um, a little while ago? Look at that. Now, how can they do that with turf? I understand how you can do that with mm-hmm. real grass, but this is amazing, the look of that turf right there. Man. It, it looks like real grass. It really does. Um, it's not. They have some sort of synthetic material or something underneath there. i got to ask Eric Neander about it when I see him. On Thursday for the first show of the drive, you know, Eric Neander, what's going on there? None yet. Come what's on, you got to be a little bit more you know, specific here. about yeah. that. I mean, I need to know what's going on with this turf because, you um. know, a <laughs> lot of guys have complained about it. So I'm kind of interested in seeing it. Maybe, well, they won't let us walk around on it. Uh, first review, says Topper, slower, different awesome looking. Supposedly, it's going to make more true bounces than uh, the other turf does. Hopefully a bounce of the ball will go the Rays' way on opening day. Can hardly wait, of course. We're all going to be out there. All of our shows will originate from the Trop on Thursday for opening day, beginning with Pat and Aaron, bright and early from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., and then Jay and Zach from 9 a.m. until noon. Yours truly, the premiere of the drive on Thursday from noon until 3, and then Ronnie will have inside pitch from 3 to 3.30. It's going to be awesome. But our all-day broadcast from sunrise to first pitch is being presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families right here on WDAE. Now, we got some good news and some bad news. Now, the bad news is is that opening day is a sellout, so hopefully you got your tickets for opening day. If you got them, we're going to see you on Thursday. Here's the good news. We've got a four-pack of race tickets for the game on Friday night at 6.50 p.m. That start time is going to be kind of weird. 6.50 p.m. first pitch on a Friday night at the Trop to kick off your Easter weekend. we got a four-pack of tickets for the Rays and the Blue Jays, and they can be yours if you call her number 18 right now. This is the 18th consecutive sellout, save for the COVID year of 2020. So if you call her number 18 right now at 888-546-4620, call her number 18, we'll get the four-pack of tickets to see the Rays and the Blue Jays for game number two on Friday night. Oh, nice. so, oh yeah, it is nice. It's too, a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> too bad you're not here, Tyler Glass. Now, good luck to you and, uh, you know, the gambler out there. I'm not talking about Mark Wahlberg. Oh, I'm talking come on. Shoei Otani. Come on now. No, 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 no. You insult me. Alleged a gambler. Oh, okay, uh, sorry. We'll you know, yeah, yeah. you know what, Ronnie? I'm going to make my cleaning we'll lady. See. My cleaning lady's going to put in bets on the Hard Rock <laughs> Bed app. She's got access to my account. Give me a break. What are you doing giving her access to your account? Come on. Come on, nobody's doing that. I mean, <laughs> uh, I I smell a rat here. All right, the last word, we'll get a winner coming up in a matter of moments. Guys, the Easter weekend is coming around the corner. 
And I'll tell you something. With the weather getting warmer and it kind of feels like the summer out there, maybe you're thinking about putting in a pool. If you are, call on my guy, Shy. He's the owner of Pool Perfection. They are Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder. They are awesome, guys, because what they do is they will build your pool in weeks, not months. They've done a time in and time out. All you got to do is go online, see thousands of five-star Google reviews. Shy is so involved in his business. He's there for his workers. He's there every step of the way with his customers, and he will go above and beyond to make sure that you are completely satisfied because obviously that's a big commitment, and that's what they do over at Pool Perfection. They can build your pool. When you get that free estimate and tell them what you're looking for in your new pool, in your new backyard, you'll get a 3D rendering of what your pool in your backyard is going to look like. All you got to do, by the way, go on their website, poolperfection.com. You're going to see all of these amazing videos of these swimming pools that they have installed all over the Tampa Bay area, thousands of them, and you'll get a great idea as to what your backyard can look like. And don't forget, this weekend, Pool Perfection is having their grand opening of their second location. They got one here in Largo and Pinellas, and now they're opening a second location up by my neck of the woods, Pasco County. It's two miles west of the Tampa Premium Outlets on State Road 54. So join in on the fun. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Sunday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So come on down, delicious food. You can also explore what Pool Perfection has to offer. Plus, if you're attending, there are fantastic incentives in store if you're considering building a pool. So don't miss out on the treats this weekend. Come celebrate with my guys over at Pool Perfection. Again, check out their website, poolperfection.com. Give them a call. Get that free estimate, 727-518-POOL. That's 727-518-7665. All right, Sean in St. Pete, he is the winner of the four-pack of tickets to see the Rays and the Blue Jays coming up on Friday. Congratulations, Sean, and raise up. The final word of the last Thoughts or final thoughts and the last word and a look ahead to a legendary show tomorrow. The last one, in fact, and it's next. Welcome and happy opening day to everyone. The Texas Rangers for the first time ever are World Series champions. The World Series champion Texas Rangers welcome Cody Bellinger and the Chicago Cubs. Coverage begins Thursday, immediately following Rays Baseball on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. From the Whatever It Takes Moss Nissan Traffic Center, WDAE Traffic Update. Southbound 275 jammed up in St. Pete. It's all due to an earlier crash near the Skyway. It's cleared up. All lanes are back open, but traffic jammed up from 31st Street South to the Skyway Toll Plaza. Also seeing delays in Tampa, northbound 275 from just off the Howard Franklin Bridge to past Dale Mabry. And seeing delays in Hillsborough County, southbound 75 from south of the Selman to Big Ben Road. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Hey, it's Brett from Bull Oak. If you're ready to put a stop to your erectile dysfunction, then call Bull Oak today, Tuesday, March 26th. Bull Oak uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy. This technology is backed by over 50 clinical studies, including research from Cambridge University. Our treatment gets to the root cause of erectile dysfunction by repairing blood vessels and increasing blood flow, all without the need for pills or the worry of side effects. Call us now and you'll qualify for the assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. This is over $800 in value. And today only, for those who call in the next two minutes, new patients will receive their first treatment completely free. This is worth hundreds of dollars, but call today and it's totally free. Call 813-219-1919. That's 813-219-1919. Call Bull Oak now to qualify. This offer ends today, Tuesday, March 26th, 813-219-1919. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. 
Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, eyes and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. When something happens to your kitchen and you say, This is ludicrous. You get having trouble? Don't panic. Don't be alarmed. You need to file a claim? Holla at State Farm. That's right. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. State Farm, Bloomington, Illinois. If you're over 35, pay attention. As you age, sexual performance decreases because of the lack of healthy blood flow. Age Rejuvenation's proprietary process uses Pulse Wave RX and stem cell therapy to treat ED. Age Rejuvenation's drug-free treatment naturally improves and restores blood flow by stimulating the growth of new blood vessels, removing vascular plaque, and rejuvenating erectile tissue. So go to agerejuvenation.com. That's agerejuvenation.com. Com and mention Pat and get your first treatment free. We've been driving for six hours and I haven't coughed once. You took Mucinex DM 12 hour. It gives you 12 full hours of cough and chest congestion relief. So you got another six hours of me singing road trip songs. Yay. Buy Mucinex DM 12 hour. Use as directed. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. This is Katina Mobley. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Mercedes-Benz. Only 16 teams remain now in the NCAA basketball tournament. The action is set to resume on Thursday. There'll be four games on the schedule. Former Florida hoop standout Canyon Barry has been picked to represent the U.S. in three-on-three basketball at the Paris Olympics. And over to hockey where the Lightning will host Boston tomorrow night with hopes of extending their lead over Washington for the East Top Wild Card. I'm Scott Davidson. The fully electric EQS sedan from Mercedes-Benz is innovation on a magnificent scale. Available with the epic 56-inch touch-sensitive hype screen, the vehicle is all electric. The feeling is all Mercedes. Learn more at mbusa.com slash EQS. We are Tampa Bay's only option for talking sports 24-7. This is WTAE on air and streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. The last word. The NCAA Women's Tournament begins or resumes on Friday. I'm looking forward to it for one reason, and that is Caitlin at Iowa. She is unbelievable. I know you've heard about her, and I know you know who she is, but Tim McGraw opened a concert at Des Moines, Iowa, and opened the concert with one of her jerseys. She has been a draw not only for women's basketball fans, but for sports fans in general throughout the season. So let's hope Miss Clark can continue her greatness, and let's hope she makes it to the championship game against whomever. It's going to be a great watch. The last word. Here we go. Two days before opening day, the Rays capped off their spring today with a 3-3 tie against the Tigers. And we talked about the biggest takeaways, but for me... Brandon Lau has got to stay upright. If he does, he's the biggest X factor on this race team. A couple of years ago when he played 140 plus games, guess what? He hit 39 home runs, but he hasn't played that many games over the last couple of years. If he plays 130 games, his track record suggests that he will hit 27 to 30 home runs hitting right in the middle of a lineup that has Yandy Diaz in front of him, Randy Rosarina behind them. We do know that if this Rays team is going to stay afloat in a very tough American League East, those three positional players have to shine in a big way. The last word. All right, our good friends of Steve and Julie Weintraub is celebrating, get this, 40 years of the Golden Diamond Source. Steve founded the Golden Diamond Source over 40 years ago by selling gold-plated sand dollars. And to celebrate the Golden Diamond Source is selling gold sand dollar jewelry with the proceeds supporting 
Steve and Julie's foundation, Hands Across the Bay. Tom and I have both supported that uh, wonderful charity, and their work in the community is exemplary. So we love Steve and Julie. They love us, and that's why we encourage you to do your shopping at the Golden Diamond Source. Right, you are, Ronnie. We have shopped at the Golden Diamond Source for many, many years, and for the 40-year anniversary, they are celebrating by offering you up to 40% off select jewelry items. Plus, with gold prices near all-time highs, it's the perfect time to trade in your broken or unworn pieces for no, for something new and stunning. So I'll lock the value in your jewelry box today at the Golden Diamond Store. So if you're thinking about popping the big question, you got a birthday or an anniversary coming up, now's the time to hit up the Golden Diamond Source for their 40-year anniversary celebration. Make sure it's a Golden Diamond Source diamond at 3800 Omer to Road in Clearwater. Always online at goldendiamond.com. Make sure to tell them that Ronnie and T. Crest sent you. Caitlin Clark, man, how fabulous is she, bro? She is an incredible player. Uh, just it's just done wonders for for basketball in general, not just women's basketball. Well, she became the all time leading scorer regardless a couple of weeks ago, men's, women's. So she's an incredible athlete, and you know one that is definitely worth watching, man. I thought her season was going to come to an end last night there for a little bit. There was uh, a bit yep. of concern. It was getting tight, man. I was worried. Yeah, up next for them, it's Colorado. And I think that game's on the 30th. What day is that? Saturday? Sun? I can't. I can't. I don't know. We don't do math on this show. <laughs> no. Yeah, the no, Saturday. That is funny. That's, is that Saturday? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Tomorrow. Here we are, guys. The final chapter of Ronnie and T. Krabs will take place tomorrow. We're going to be live at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino at the L Bar. 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. All kinds of surprises. The only thing that Ronnie and I know is that Brian Ford, the COO of the Bucks, he's going to join us at around 3.30. There's going to be surprise guests, surprise yeah, elements. Yes, surprises <laughs> altogether. You never know. Maybe Levante David shows up. Who knows? Who but knows? We invite all of you to come down and celebrate with us. It's going to be a momentous occasion. We can hardly wait. Epic celebration, folks. I will see all of you tomorrow at the L Bar at the Hard Rock. Until then... Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night, everyone. You're dismissed. Come on, get out of here. Did you hear what this man said to me? Now, I have witnesses. This man is physically threatening me. Um, he wants you to be available. Thank you for listening to Ronnie and T. Kras. If you missed anything from today's show, head to the Ronnie and T. Kras blog at 953WDAE.com or listen to on demand replays on the free iHeartRadio app. Stay tuned. The herd with Colin Cowherd is next on 953WDAE and AM620. Hey guys, T. Kras and Ronnie for C4MH.com. It's the holiday season, and with that comes those New Year's resolutions to hit the gym. But remember, guys, if you're over 40, you can't build muscle with low T. That's right, T. Kras. Testosterone is the primary hormone needed for building muscle, and if your testosterone is low, you'll be working twice as hard at the gym and getting nowhere. So know before you go and get your testosterone.